Welcome to the Fragments of Eternity, session 55. I am Ryan, the GM. It is the 8th of June 2020, and here are the players. Good evening. I, Colin. And tonight, uh, as with all other previous night, I will be playing Lyco Quint. He is your uh, operative, your retired space cop, and your um, western noir star. It just implies that you're playing him on nights that we don't even game. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reenact yeah. some other night. <laughs> and hello, I'm Nico. Hi. Hi. We'll be playing Zora, the vest cap. Excellent. Greetings. Oh, fine. That's it. That's uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the two characters. Uh, no. Uh, hi, I'm Alex, and I play Weird, the android uh, tank. Mm -hmm. Good evening. I am Callum, and I play Zig, the mystical space rep from the sun. That is. Well, well then, yeah, like that was weirdly okay. That intro. That was. Oh. That was, was kind of a chill, man. It was yeah. Oh, it was like nice. I'm now too relaxed to even do anything stupid with it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the new vibe you get with us, Ryan. This is it. Off. I was going to say, yeah, we're, we're all we're like, all just you know, uh, holiday vibes. Yeah, yeah relaxing. Uh, um, yeah. So just to so know, we don't want to fight this war anymore. Good. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> where do you want to retire to? <laughs> uh, different sun. The sun. Yeah, the sun. Let's go to the sun. Go can I just jump, jump to a different dimension? That's I can do. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> do you know I think Vesk 6 is the Skittermander planet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I might just have picked that up, but I think Vesk 6 might be that. Um, <laughs> see if that's a thing. Uh, Vesk 6. Um, Kibia. Let's see. Is that a thing? Or did I just make that up? Um, just I feel like I read Vesk 6. It's probably like a pure hellhole. <laughs> it has a species of feline humanoids uh, native to the planet, officially oh designated Vesk 6, which they call uh, Pulonis. Um, I can't go. They are one of the most prominent species in the Viscarium, and they are called the Patras. Interesting. They're cat, cat, cat girls? Apparently Zora isn't a cat girls, everybody. <laughs> uh. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Do we do know one? Yeah. There we go. See, 55 <laughs> sessions in, and we still find out new things about the captain. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, but yes. What do, you, <laughs> what do you remember from last time? Um, there was a lot of talking about Rama, Rama. Is it Rama Sefa? Is that right? There were two women. <laughs> was there? Aye. Rama Sefa is the woman. Although she I mean, wasn't Rama Sefa is Bone Sage is to be confirmed? Question mark. <laughs> Um, Ramachetu is. That is as far as I will confirm. The uh, there 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 was a gun person. I would describe them. Huh. Um, not a, a gunman. Not a gunman. A gun person. Uh, in what I would describe as um, a a dread, and that person would appear to be former SK, possibly. Um, Isabel Furl and uh, she steps out the thing, and maybe there, maybe there will be fighting. Maybe there won't be. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, she mm, seems to be a bit dead racist, you know. Wee bit, just a wee bit dead, dead racist. <laughs> You're a dead, dead racist. <laughs> 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 oh, that's should be tackled as much as it was. <laughs> okay, yeah, all that happened. Uh, anything else? Anybody else remembers? 
<sighs> What's his face? Tech Talanis wants to start some jip. Mm-hmm. It's in the Vesk. There's a way to start some jip. Seems so. I believe it's pronounced Gate. Gate. Uh, exactly. The creator of GIFs told me that. <laughs> <laughs> No. And uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 what happened to Lycon? I must say, for again, I'm actually struggling to remember that part. Uh, we had a wee chat, and I came out with slightly, uh, slightly edgier armor. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the most of it, is it? Other than like walking through craziness at the start. Like invisible death. Yes. The um, a long, lengthy goal session. Indeed, we did pretty much map out where all of the information and quests and happenings were in the universe, right? Um, Which gave you a roadmap. Almost probably not, because us. <laughs> <laughs> what <are> roads? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Because you see the planets move, so you can they would they would have to be like Just make them elastic roads, obviously. Yeah. Geostationary <laughs> roads. <laughs> obviously meant to walk off the road, right? No, you Being, just you just need some walk a road. You need a postmodern artist to design some kind of like almost kaleidoscope, gyroscopic mobile type. Um, you, you, so, you need um, Paul Oster. So moving uh, on. Um, book about. Moving on. <laughs> so goals. Goals. Always goals. believe in ya. Right, um. <laughs> Tell me the goal. <laughs> Find so postal so I come my one act on. Happy to keep. Yeah. Yeah. For now. Cool. For now. Key uh-huh. session or two as well. I know I've said that last couple of sessions, but I had a good talk about it last time, so... <laughs> and, uh Goal two. That's when we wait for Alex to unmute, and then... Well, to be fair, three is more kind of... I want me unmuted and everything. <laughs> to him? Yeah. For him and could... Do... Yeah. I guess I think I left that one in because there wasn't really anything else obvious to come up with after last time. Um, although I think with the appearance of SK, the establishing healthy party boundaries is uh, probably still pretty critical. Mm. So I will keep that one, actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, cool. And, uh, and hook up with the new junk rats. <laughs> I think we still want them to yeah. send out on other missions. We want the B team. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming that they'll just come along with me and abandon their lives that they've built. Yeah, of course, years. obviously. I, mean, I know you don't yeah. recognise me or remember me because I wasn't that person, but now I, I used to be. So could you maybe just come with me? We're going to bring the band <laughs> back together. For Fortunately, I can be very persuasive. <laughs> Not skill based. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can build a bomb. So. Yeah. Uh, good at that shit, man. I see your Please. charisma score, but have you considered the bomb? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now. You can either come along with us or not. The thing is, we uh, die. <laughs> as you say, I cast bomb. I feel like Starfinder is one of the systems that that is a spell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's uh, an artist on Twitter whose handle is Shadow Word Gun. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's such a reason, though. <laughs> they're a Warcraft fan, um, so you know you get Shadow Word Pain, Shadow Word Death, mm-hmm, etc. You get power word in like D and D though, don't you? you do, that's what I would have yep. Power word gun. <laughs> power <laughs> word. That <laughs> sounds I so think, cool though. I think that's, so edgy. Well, it's isn't, isn't that what Alice cast on MO? Pretty <laughs> much. That's like why it's so edgy. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Like, it's just like power word. God. <laughs> <laughs> or, or the other thing is, Alice isn't as cool as that. She'd say something like, Dine this, is what she would have said, you know, trying to act all edgy and cool, <laughs> not realising that, that, that nobody cares. Right, just because it was in a diner. Basically, oh. like that. Yeah, that's yeah, like that. Like that. Mm-hmm. No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to dine. <laughs> 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 
Now, if that media was available in here, that would have been a glorious thing for her to have done. This really off the cuff, really unnerving to an X5 uh, accent. Like, wait, Alice, what are you doing? Summons bazooka. Boom. <laughs> so good. Um, but okay, yeah. Motorcycle. So I think that is us all accepted that hooking up with the new young rats is valid. <laughs> Somehow that's what that conversation was about. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful and valid. Yes. Okay, goal four. What's the thoughts? That's it's the that's, thoughts that counts that's for a, a colleague. It's colleague. The, it's it's the 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 thought that counts. Ah. Colin, read the goal. <laughs> read the goal. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm trying, but don't make me remove your typing privileges for Discord. Composure. <laughs> <laughs> Composure, man. <laughs> 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 Prepare permission to EOX. Simple, clean, self explanatory. Cool. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we should do. <laughs> oh, okay. Any tourists in the chat? And uh, five. Get, get the Versi, save Ivan, and possibly Ziggs 2000 flares. Okay. Yes. That's just the end part there is just more hopeful than Ziggs part. Yes. Seems pie in the sky to me. <laughs> yeah, that's like a multifaceted campaign, really, knowing this game. Uh, hey, that particular goal, but yeah, I like it. Um, okay, cool. Goals are done. Look at that. Uh, and it, Yay! We're under. Oh, I just look right. <laughs> Pressure. I just look right at this. I will we'll show you in this squad momentarily. Carry on, right? Okay. Did you like? Did you like my attempt to nice. type quickly? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that list. <laughs> that list. <laughs> the views, the longer relevant. Zeke. <laughs> Callum's vocal cords all sense of you. <laughs> Callum's arm. Callum. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ryan's shoulder that I've cut off by accident. It's okay. Please don't cut off my shoulder. I need those. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, no longer relevant. somebody scored out <laughs> Zig, so I feel like that's positive. <laughs> I think it? that's good. Or it's just like there, there wasn't a, a layer little, deeper like, of no longer relevant. Wasn't... Yeah, you're, um, you're not even relevant enough to be on the not relevant list. Apparently, according to that, I, I guess. Didn't, yeah. I didn't know there was one. I'm not gonna... Uh, no, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, um, <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, I didn't know I couldn't do that. Here is me thinking, how positive this being the longest running game I've ever done would be, and now I'm reminded how nice it was to have two weeks off. Um. Because of this shit. <laughs> but anyway, so we focus in on orbit of the Akaton. And we have a very vesque looking cruiser pull into orbit. Uh, yeah. And then a uh, it takes up, obviously, its, you know, orbit around the wonderful planet of Akaton, and then the camera just slowly drifts all the way down into the desert. And I say that like it's specifically rare to find the desert on Akaton, right? How vague could that have been? Um, I'll just move us to the Akaton. So much here, I mean, when you say desert, I think yeah. they found that. Like, we're going to need a bigger... Yeah. Uh, and obviously, like, user, like, I think somewhere here, I think, is where you are. Yeah. Somewhere there. Yeah. So, chair. so yeah. I, and, yeah, the last thing that you remember discussing was having the former S. Kate Isabel in front of you. Saying... You know, something between you have my body and what happened to my body, you know? 
So I'm going to fade back and just write in that scene, I think, to see how that plays out. Uh, uh, I don't want to say to that. Um, yeah. Ocular ridge rays. And obviously the, the blonde lady looks at you and she says, It's just Isabel now. Ah, good. Good titles. Frown upon them. You're alive? My contract is completed. Trying to call that alive. Sure. Uh, uh, you just made it out mm, of the vault then? I would nod. Where is Nix 5? Uh, I would kind of point my thumb across my shoulder toward him. I wave my lower right hand gingerly. What in the hell has happened to you? You know, things change. She kind of just like, she doing? makes like a ha kind of noise, like out the side of her, like, you know, mouth, like ha. Like she she gets that as if, yeah, that is funnier than the, um, it should be. Um, <laughs> well, still kind of maintaining this almost standoffish posture. I, um, I think I do uh, jokes now. And she kind of just like looks at the group. Why are you here? We had uh, something to discuss with the bone sage that resides here. As I'm sure you can already tell. Why aren't you dead? I wouldn't exactly say this is the um, most appropriate place for uh, our life stories, would you? And she kind of motions with her head towards, you know, the undead ship with the undead troops around it. Um, he shrugs. <laughs> what was that? We could head back. I, said, yeah. I was going to say, we could head back to town. I know a good noodle place. Do you still have my body? No, um, aren't you in it? She looks at you, like, and then she goes to say something, and then she kind of stops herself, and she goes and looks back at a weird. She says. Where did you just leave it? Is it still intact? Yes. Well, as much as the dragon left it intact. Yes. It's on a pleasure boat in orbit. Are you actively trying to deceive her? Because it's not. Yeah, oh, it's the vault, remember? Sorry. Oh, we put in the vault. Mm. Yep. I'm smart. It's okay. <laughs> uh, if you want to rewind, you can rewind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we put it in the vault. A vault. You left it in it's the vault? Safe. No, we took it from that vault to another vault. Now you actively try to lie, because technically you put it back in the, the same vault. vault. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was some time ago, to be fair. Yes. No, it was a very long time ago. But it was just like, we put it back at a different point. It's still yeah. the same vault. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's hard to keep track of what things are the same over time when you're mm -hmm. weird. Mm -hmm. um, like, considering the vault was um, November, like, yes. October, November of last year. Was it? That's yeah. crazy. Oh my god. Yeah. Right, and I've been, my head is currently full of paint samples mm -hmm. yes. rather than stuff I so I'm trying to you catch up. You shouldn't put those in your head. Yeah, yeah I, I've also been sanding without masks, so oh my god. it's been great. Um, oh dear. That's not, that doesn't affect my gameplay capability. So do, do, we call you Alec, do we call you Alexander now, or is that too bad? 
like everything. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, That's so bad. Oh god. <laughs> I'll see myself out. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Me and you, GM. Uh, cancellation. Zig, you're the GM. So I say. Right. So a oh, giant god, falls from the sky, and he goes, "Greetings. Would you like to check out my shop?" Ah. <laughs> uh. Anyway, weird. Yes. Back in this game. Is there anything you'd like to know before you speak to Isabel, or would, are you uh, happy? No. So, yeah, because we took her away, and then we got access back to the vault. Remember, he's about to Couple get into the taxi ago. on. Um, yeah. This is when he was on Castroville. He had left the random like preservation oh, island, yeah. went to the city. We're like, maybe we shouldn't carry this body around the city, and then yeah. the queen offered you to keep it in the vault. Yes. Yep. So yeah, I'd say that we took the body and uh, we took it from the vault and went for a walk to Castrovel and then we put it back in the vault but it's safe there now. She kind of just uh, kind of looks for a second because I had to take a drink and then <laughs> she, uh, she says Which vault? Um, say what? You, know, you know that place where you died? I don't know if you remember. Unfortunately, yes. I do remember. Then that one. But it's under new ownership now. She kind of like has that kind of oh look on her face. Um, she kind of tilt her head slightly. She goes, new. Ownership. Yeah. Well, technically old ownership, really, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Same old, new owner. Old, new, yeah. Yeah, kind of, yeah. you know, what goes around comes around kind of thing. I hope that clears it up. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense to me. Nod at Zig. <laughs> Zig nods back. <laughs> Unified nod. <laughs> right. <laughs> Can you still access this vault not from here but we can get access to it but our key is in hospital mm. <laughs> might depend on how Queenie is doing yeah Your key so she's is probably not taking it yeah there was an issue with some radiation and some violence and uh, some naked fighting and then we took her to the hospital and came here. She just stares and, <laughs> <laughs> and she blinks real hard once. And then we all take a moment out of character to appreciate how fucking beautiful the story is of this game. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, funny one. <laughs> Totally accurate description, but absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> so good. And then then we, we, f we face back into the game and uh, she says, Where is this hospital? What's the name of that place again? Daza. You know, the glowy place. All the radiation. Well, one of the glowy places. I guess the sun is the glowiest place. Again, not mm. easy. But, uh... She just looks to you, Lyco. You just have a shuttle here, yes? Correct. Let's go to Daza. Get this key from your hospitalized friend. And then I can retrieve my body. <laughs> I mean, is uh, is this what you came here for? Does that matter? Yeah. Then yes.
You um, picked an interesting way to reintroduce yourself. Things change, it seems. Can I uh, sense more of honor? Sure. To what avail, Mr. Lyko? I don't trust her. That does not seem like an entirely truthful answer. So, sure. Roll sense yep. motive to see if she's telling or she's holding Same back, I guess. Whiskey. A 30. Cool, yep. Uh, yeah, of course she's holding back. Yeah. Definitely. Because, uh, you know, the funny thing is, I, uh, I can understand why you may exercise some caution in approaching this place. But there was no followers here, and the whole stealth act, also unnecessary. Would you have advised less caution when facing up against the forces of a bone sage? You are very I familiar would... with them, after all. Actually, I'm probably less familiar with their uh, marsh might the, the captain is but uh, I'm not unfamiliar with them, sure but the uh, recovery of your body as bizarre as that is to say uh, that doesn't require conflict Ramasethu she has nothing to do with it her minions uh, they, they don't have anything to do with it you didn't need to come here. Are you here to tell me what I do need? <laughs> you seem to be... Look, I appreciate what happened. Bob wasn't ideal for it. I didn't. Well... Wasn't ideal for us either. It's not how I would have liked to have done it. It was rushed. And I understand time was a factor, but. By no means do I regret my actions defending you. And she says that in general to the group, right? Like, that isn't just aimed at you specifically. Um, I just fear that it was in vain. It would seem so. You were very quick to ally with me against one of the uh, darker movements within the world. This Himani. Yet, he still breathes. We are working on that. <laughs> she raises an eyebrow and she looks at you and she says, I will happily have that conversation with you also. In time. She looks back at Lyco. The recovery of my body is a personal matter, and if you are the gatekeepers to this recovery, you will, I assume, be eager to see me whole given I did give my life for you we can part ways then I am not here to explain my actions to you or my removing undead servants from a unlife of servitude Mm. If we leave now, she like puts her hand up over her shoulder, like, and, like the one that's not holding the big rifle, and then like the big suit of armor that has like pointed the gun hand, obviously at the the ship, just kind of stops and like goes into like a more kind of neutral pose. And look at that, Lyco. The killing has ended. Hmm. Ok, 
captain. So you're still a captain. At least some things stay the same. <laughs> if only... Uh... Nico! Nico! <laughs> oh, uh, uh, yeah, I would kind of snigger at that, to be honest. Uh, yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah. Um, and... <sighs> that is her body. <laughs> Quite frankly, the only one, but ah, never mind. You'll get your body. Then let's go. She gestures vaguely back toward, like, away from the ship. Ah, <sighs> hmm. Let me take point. And I will uh, move ahead. So you're heading away? Yeah. Cool. MDLs got anything they want to do here? Do we not have... Oh, shit. Mm. We still don't have three quizzes. No, he was left in the ship. Ah, someone remember that, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait. Oh, wait to go get Craig. Oh. Shit, yeah. Um. Chalux is. I'll is this a new crew here. member? <sighs> of sorts. He's an app. Move faster. Explain later. Uh, yeah, I'll head back. Yeah, cool. With pace, I guess. With pace. So you Good. run back into the. Just <laughs> 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 So you head um, all the way through. Is there anything while he's like working his way back into like trying to find CC? Oh, uh, I hate this. And the ship <laughs> is everybody else up to anything outside with uh, Isabel? Keeping an eye on her. Um, is she like? Sorry, like is she? She's in like a body that looks like her body, right? Yeah, like. Or I'll am show, I? Conf- yeah, I'm, I'll show you the artwork again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where did I put her artwork? Uh, I wasn't sure if I was misremembering or something. I was like, uh. Um, let me try and do that from the other screen, the main screen. So. Bam. Ah oh, yes, that's right. Ban. And uh, is there is there anything kind of like okay. off looking? Is it does it look like that the, the form she's taking is like nervous, artificial nervous. or um, created or anything like by other like mystical means? So what you got? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, Again, as last time, I don't want to just cast detect magic because that's there's too much necro <laughs> jank going yeah. on around here. Um, mm. I was about to say an investigation, but investigation isn't there. So, you have no natural ways of just detecting magic jank beyond like detect magic. But as you quite rightly said, the place is. Like just saturated. magic everywhere, so it's just going to be. Yeah. Okay, no, I was just just, just going to ask if I could like, maybe discern something, but if, like, from no other, like, if there would be, like, no obvious, like, ways of seeing something like that, then, yeah, because I think he would just be a bit confused going, 
If she's in a body, why does she need a body? Um, do you know, maybe maybe he'll just ask her. Mm -hmm. um, he'll say, "Your current body seems fine." It just looks at you, and like she's like maybe like fixing bits on the mech, right? While she's mm. waiting on Zora coming back. I think maybe he would like, like maybe jump down off, off him weird and kind of just like walk up to her. Mm -hmm. Then in that case, just standing next to her. And she kind of looks at you, and I think like she does that thing where she's like fixing something on like the arm or whatever of the big mech, and then you say that, and she just looks at you, but then continues working. I think Zig would just. Look around and go. Hmm. <laughs> is it is it high maintenance? Looks up at the, the She looks down at you and she, she looks down at you and she says this conversation. <laughs> wow. Oh the ball. Um I mean so far. Yeah. Reasonably. Then perhaps you should stick to things you can afford. And she goes back to working on the mech. I think you'll just stand there and just look up at what she's doing. Just stand there. Silence. Yeah, and it kind of just looks like she's busying herself, right? Like... Yeah. Making sure all the things are tucked in where they need to be and, you know, plugged into what they need to be and checking, like, I don't know, valves and caps and other such mech-related activities that don't really look like they probably needed done, but she's obviously mm -hmm. just doing, like, a once-over. Um, and that's it. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, what about Lyco and Beard? Anything? Lyco is, uh, you know, quietly observing standing sort of slightly further back, slightly removed just um, give you a, an insight into his, uh, his, his mind he is he's not satisfied with with what she's been saying uh, I, th I think he, he definitely got the feeling that like not only was this not the entirety of it but this is maybe not the point that because as uh, we've we've heard from Zig as well, like she she seems to be getting on all right without that original body. So what is she got some sort of mind swap into a clone body? Who knows? This is the future. Like a warehouse full of them. Yeah, I mean, does she need it? Is it just a sentimental thing? Is it a religious thing? Who knows? But I definitely feel like there's there's, there's a sense of that being a pretext rather than just not the whole story like oh yeah she, that's important but actually it's also but there's definitely like a sense to me of like that would be a really obvious pretext like, it's perfect sense doesn't it mm. but it sort of doesn't it 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 doesn't entirely make sense. It it, it, so it can has that surface level reasonableness, and then you look at it, and you. But if that body matters so much, why is she walking around just fine? And now it, 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 there's just this oddness to it, and the sense to me at least. And I think that is what Michael would take as well. The sense of it being like a convenient excuse for being here. But I mean, why suit up? Why follow this out here? You know, and as you say, like from from, from what I rolled, I definitely got the impression that that is not the whole story. Mm -hmm. um, and I think how she may have followed us, I definitely think um, she has her own reasons for being out here that aren't just, oh, you fetch my body. <laughs> oh, excuse me, tired. Um, so yeah, it, de it definitely does feel a bit like it is the pretext for 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 this, but not the actual truth behind it. 
So I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Lyco is suspicious of and, uh, keeping a fairly close eye okay. on her. What about a uh, weird? Um, so I think weird. Uh, uh, yeah, he's kind of done the explaining that he thinks he needs to. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he watches uh, Ziggy uh, have his little bit of a chat with her. Um, <laughs> I don't imagine that he necessarily picks up on what Lyco's feeling. But, you know, he knows that the captain's wandered off to the ship. Mm-hmm. So there's kind of, I imagine, just a bit of an awkward pause. But he's hoping that Lyco would fill in, like usual, um, of, you know, knowing the correct thing to say um, when there's nothing else going on. Uh, and seeing that not happening, you know, kicks the sand for a little bit mm-hmm. and then wanders off to, in the same direction the captain went, just without saying anything. Okay. Yeah, you... You feel to factor in like with paranoia. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So Nick, uh, Nick's is underlying uh, awkwardness comes out mm-hmm. in weird, and he just wanders off towards good the captain. Good. Help. Also good stuff. And uh, him, the yeah, <laughs> yeah so I like, it's um, yeah. As you like head off, like you just wander off while them two are kind of distracted a bit, um, dealing with this. And uh, yeah, I think. Zora, you get to the uh, the ship. Uh, you do pass a couple of actual dead bodies. Um, now, given that like the outside's been pretty tore up by some of the shots from Isabel. Further, mm, yeah, further. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, you head inside, and like there is a lot less people inside now than there were when you initially came in. Okay. And you start working your way through the corridors. Um, I would also like chuck Craig a wee text, you know, maybe you like maybe near the entrance in the way there. You never know. He's probably too distracted because Craig. But you never know, right? Might pay attention to his text messages. Right? Uh, uh, you could try. What are you going to say in the text? Um... Uh, the entrance we need to get out of here but are you then going to wander through the whole Ash, ship and go Zora. to like where you were speaking to Ramaseth or like what was your plan just wander the inside of the Exum cruiser because uh, uh, I don't really know if I want to really go back and confront anybody in the ship again <laughs> because we're about to wander off with a woman that's just told them up hmm um, so yes. She's going to wait at the entrance? Uh, yeah, for a bit. I'll give like five minutes, you know, five, ten minutes, see if she shows up. Well, I think, yeah, so you send that text away, um, and then you get a response back, but it's just text, and it's badly spelled as well, and it's uh, it just says, I'm busy. <sighs> oh, no. Busy has two B's and a V instead of a U. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, After a little while, I'll have calmed like a message to the captain as well. <laughs> before that happens, then, um, like, you probably notice that Weird is gone, right? Like, maybe you start looking around. Maybe you're about to say something to Weird. Um, maybe about calming the captain, right, Michael? Mm. And you notice that Weird's now about to head into the ship as well. Um, like he's wandered off that much because I think by the time the captain's waited like 10 or so minutes I think uh, we can say that Weird has definitely caught up to him oh yeah <sighs> captain <sighs> I sent Craig a text open open it would come but looks like we're going to need to go in and get him okay it's going to be awkward but... I mean it was awkward already, wasn't it? Uh, I mean, I think more awkward. <laughs> Did Craig say what he's doing? I just said he's busy. Can I message him 
and just say, what are you working on? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Um, and again, there's maybe another five minutes of waiting, so does the, does the Lyco? Yeah. Yeah. I, I will... Yeah, you know, I will calm, calm, rather than just... Um, Massage. Message. It probably has quite shitty quality um, as well, like, just because of all the interference. Like, just radiation-wise, I mean. But you can definitely hear each other, it's just poor quality. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll come through to the captain. I'm assuming your answer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, like, oh. Nah, I'm not getting time for this shit. Hangs up. Captain, um... There, there is some sort of hold up. Uh, I did initially try and get ask Craig to come out and meet us at the entrance because you know, uh, well, but to kind of just walk right back into a shot to then walk away with the people who just shot it up. You know, just kind of hoping not to get in contact with anybody again. Well, it's like I'm we'll just waiting. Uh, yeah, I, I I see where you're coming from, but uh, uh, I I don't see that there's a great deal of choice. Um, do you want me to join you? Uh, keep an eye on Fulwa. It's probably the best bet. It's Make sure she doesn't start shooting stuff up again. It may be, if you're concerned there could be issues on in the inside, it may be worth my being with it is all I'm suggesting. I would say, it's like you're not wrong. It's right, up to you. I'm right in thinking though, Colin, you no longer display uh, the sigil anymore, do you? Correct. Which hopefully would be less of an issue. <laughs> mm. Perhaps you should take map, please. If you wish. Keep I mean, um, mm. in mind, although, it's weird you can hear all this as well because you you're, you are there, I guess, and the comms are usually open. Yep. So I oh. will. I'll ask. It's like you've not gone off with them or anything, have you? Zig's now in the mech, shooting up dead people. No, right, so Zig's still there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don't kill everyone! No, I know. No, my, um, no, my... Zig, would you... Would you be happy... staying here... with... Furler for a short while? Um, I guess... Good. Yeah, um, I don't know why it's a sneak now, but uh, I am. Go- she shouts back because obviously Zig's standing watching her, and she looks up and shouts back to you, like, "Oh, I'm assuming you're at a reasonable distance away." Um, a little bit. And she says, "What's the hold up?" Our associates on board the ship uh, is distracted seems to have found something to busy himself. Um, I'm going to go and assist in retrieving him. They're... It, it, it would seem better if I be present. If we're going on board again, I will try and make this brief she looks down at Zig, and she looks over at you, Lyco, and she says, Let's move this along, shall we then? Be quick. And she pulls like the gun back out that she had, and the kind of rifle thing from the mech, and she just kind of like sets it down and just picks off another, like one of the undead straight away. She goes, I'll keep myself busy while I'm waiting. You... Aren't making things easier. I guess you best uh, be quick then. I will turn and walk. 
Uh, you definitely get the yeah. vibe from her though. That's uh, are you guys about to double cross me? You know, like as everybody piles into the undead ship fortress. You know, like, that's definitely the the vibe. Okay. She's got the suspicion, right? Of yes, let's all walk back into the ship slowly. Captain, I'm on my way. She is. And you clearly hear like gunshot, obviously, through the comm and from just like the other side <laughs> of the, the door that you're inside. She is going to continue to be a problem. But, <sighs> uh. I would. I would do what I can to smooth this over. I should be with you in a few minutes. Feel the kick of the neck. <laughs> 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 I, uh, I put my calm away and I uh, increase my pace yeah. a bit of a jog you um, get a reply as well weird um, mm -hmm. after this and just says loud noises why if you come out here we can find out so it was a text message you got um, yep, yep. Um, and then do you reply with that um, and then you see the three dots appear, and there doesn't seem to be a reply. It just seems to be like the three dots implying there's a reply. <laughs> yep. Uh, so yeah, okay, like Zig, you're standing there with uh, Isabel, who's now like taking pot shots at the the undead. Or one I think. Around ship. Um... So they could be like, um, and I think he'd kind of sit down cross-legged and look at her and like cock his head to one side and be like, how's Edgar? Good um, play, good she, play. She like side-eyes you with like the gun raised up to her shoulder, um, like braced against her shoulder as she's like shooting at these um, soldiers. And then she kind of side out you, and then pulls the trigger anyway, you know. Um, and then just continues to shoot. Sig, um, is like, is like where she like is like the barrel of her gun like over like the edge of like the the big cliffy thing, or can I like move in front of her? Yeah, you could probably move in front of her. She's just kind of like down on one knee, you know, holding it up. I am. Um, it's not like braced against yeah. anything. Okay, cool. Is she? Is, is she like kind of scoping or like whatever? Is it just yeah. kind of like a, a rav? Yeah. So like if if she kind of like stands like in front of it and has his face like where her face would be looking through. So it's probably a bad this, idea. But he's describe this very very vividly for me. Are you going to stand in front of her trying to take shots at the undead? Yes. So like if he if she just keeps kind of taking pot shots, he's gonna like obviously not at the like. So if I mean he might get shot anyway, but so like if this is, you know, with. Shall get my doobly do. Right, you know, gun. Obviously, beautiful S Kate, you know, or the former S Kate, I should say. And then if we get, uh, as soon as she like, as soon as she shoots, I think what he would do is be like, because you're taking a couple of shots, yeah. What? What? I mind link with the gun <laughs> is what our chat would say. Um, <laughs> yes. Had we a chat? Uh. Right, so we're going to stand in front of her. Yeah. She looks up from the scope. At you. And she says, So quick to throw your own life away. It's only if you kill me. Interesting thought process you have there. 
Zig. You chose to stand in front of the gun. And you chose to engage in conversation instead of pulling the trigger. You hear the gun go off. Ow. Yeah. Give me two seconds to go get the fucking stats for this gun. <laughs> um, so dead. Good job I activated my shield, hey? Don't think you did, buddy. I did last session. I listened to it. I cast <laughs> the shield, and that lasts for days. Hold on, I'll post it in the thingy. I remember because do, do like, I remember because Lyco was aiming your scope and then offering you shielded up at the exact same time. It was like, yeah, it was pretty redundant. Because I don't remember nope, what happened. That's the wrong one. How long does it last? Just in case. Uh, ten minutes per level, so that's eighty minutes. Yeah, this definitely didn't take eighty minutes. You're, you're reasonable. Cool. Uh, you're probably not far off 80 minutes though, given that it was supposed to be like a 45 minute walk from the ship to the ridge yeah, or whatever sure. it was, but yeah, so that's mm. kind of, you know, time's kind of well, it's up to you. It's up to you if you, if you, you want it to be there or not, because it makes... No, like if it is an 80 minute shield, it probably is still there, let's face it. Okay. Just forget I'm everything. I'm just going to make sure it doesn't like, um... okay, well, we'll see. It depends. It depends if I take hit point damage or not. You probably might. Okay. So you'll learn everything you have to learn about your... I'm just going to read it. I'm reading it just now. Goddamn Zig. This is what happens when you leave him alone, by the way. Yeah, I know. I immediately regretted that. <laughs> and I mean immediately, like, before this even happened, it did occur to me. It's like, uh-oh. Oh, I've left Zig alone with... <laughs> yeah. Oh, poor doggy dog. I think that's what I heard. Mm -hmm. Christ. Wait, he's a dog now? That's just what I heard. The dog in the background. <laughs> right, so do you want to roll the damage for this? Because I think it's more interesting if you roll the damage. Yeah, for that's fair. Right, what am I rolling, sir? 68. 68. Oh, I might be dead. <laughs> it's a... Uh, 23. It's, it's P damage. P. Damage type piercing P. Goo. Oh, heck. That doesn't piercing? even touch my hit points. That's not piercing good. Piercing goo, yes. Piercing goo. Um, so, Keck. That, but that doesn't affect it, because he's just point blank range game. Yeah, there's no attack roll, because... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what? I'm just gonna because I can't be bothered doing the maths. Minus. Uh... Can't be bothered doing the maths. I'll do it mentally, which is somehow easier. No, minus twenty-three. There we go. Mm. Ow! Two seconds. I guess he just sort of like crumples like to the floor and like kind of holds where he got shot. And kind of stands up. Was that um, all like shield, stamina, whatever? Like what happened? Describe, like, tell me the mechanics of. Uh oh. Uh, that just it just went. Oh, so the the shield still only activates if I take hit point damage. Okay. Um, it basically it basically um sends the damage that I took back at my attacker. Okay. That'd have, that'd have been hilarious. Um, it would have been hilarious. Would have been really <laughs> kind of hoping for some mega damage, but no, it just it just did stamina damage, I guess, unless it ignores your stamina. Stamina. Uh, does it only re reflect the damage that was done to the health, though, not the total damage, or does it reflect? Yeah, the total it's damage? Um, the. Hold on, let me. Do you know what? I'll post it in. Why not? Nothing. Yet. When you take hit point damage from an attack made by a foe within 100 feet, you can choose to dismiss the spell as a reaction. If you do the armor crackles with energy, disappear is uh, arching through the air, striking the attacking creature, which takes the amount of force damage equal to the damage dealt to you at the time. Well, that doesn't say health. Mm -hmm. So it's, I guess, only if 
if I take hit point damage, it I guess it's all the damage it takes back. But damage. I, yeah, it says well, damage done by the attack. Damage, right? Uh, so it says when you take hit point damage oh, from right. an attack made a with a weapon by full, uh, you can then get basically get rid of the entire armor by throwing it all at the person, right? Because the reaction yeah. is to get rid of the armor and send all the energy back to them. Uh, which takes an amount of force damage equal to the damage dealt to you at the time the spell was dismissed. So it would have been dismissed when you took hit point damage? Yes. So it would have been like, it is the hit point damage then, by my reading oh, of okay. that. Right, I yeah, might be wrong, fine. but that feels right with the way I read that. What incredibly stupid and janky we do things. Starfinder! Game. Yes. Uh, um, your roots only kick fine. in after they've been penetrated, and then they retroactively unshoot you and shoot your opponent. Yep. Um, but For, yes. It's, it's reflecting uh, armor, not right. negating armor, I guess, right? So Yeah. I think you still take the damage, but um, I uh, assume you do anyway. That's okay. Yeah, fair enough. Weird. But you never took hit point damage. Hit point damage. So, the right kind of damage, yeah. So you can just eat away at my stamina. Yep, yep. Um, so yeah, that happens. Um, so she fires the gun. She just looks at you the whole time. Yep. Um, um, I think yeah, he definitely like you know obviously falls down. Um, yeah. I think he kind of picks himself up, kind of like maybe clutching, um, where he just got shot because she just takes another shot at one of the undead soldiers. Uh, and you say, uh, admittedly, and I didn't anticipate that one. She looks down over, like, the gun. Let's say you fell to, like, the right-hand side, so she looks over the gun down at you. And she's like, you stand in front of a gun, and admittedly you didn't think it would fire. And she just okay. goes back to shooting. So... Yeah, no, she wanted it up there, Zig. <laughs> You're gonna come back, guys, and it's gonna be Zig covered in a pile of blood and her lying dead again. <laughs> you just know this. Like, right? I swear, it was an accident. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> um, it's fine. She'll have another body somewhere. Um, I think. Yeah, I think. I think Zig would just be like, and you could just, you know, at least answer a question. July. Maybe two. Sore or three. on the floor. Um, so you say you could at least answer a question? You could at least answer, like, a question or two or three. She says, I just, and she says, shoot. And then takes another shot. What were you discussing with Edgar? And see if it's not her, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> I think Zig says that in his head. She takes her shot. Bang. Again. Ow! Oh, wait, no. Not at you. Not at you. And then. Um, she says. Why are you so convinced I. have said anything to that creature? Just uh, think it's oddly convenient that you show up in the same place. The same place as what? Edgar is here? Is he on the ship? Well, not specifically placed here. You, you know, but, um, you know, very similar times. And, you know, he was spotted speaking to someone who's not too dissimilarly described looking like you. Guy stares at you for a second. I have seen it. Yes, I've seen it. And then she says 
and this was worth getting shot for. Well, I'm just, you know, curious. Now, obviously, I'm really desperately trying not to I say, was... luckily, you're not a Patra. Yeah, I, um, I was like, I was waiting for it. I was like, ah, oh, I've, I've got the debates there. Just got to reel it in. Oh, no. Luckily, no you're not a Petra then. You're in the Soki. Uh, but no, not like I said. <laughs> there we go. She just looks at you and she says, huh. And then just shoulders the gun again and just shoots. <sighs> so, yeah. What? Oh, sorry. No, if yeah. you've got you're something else, go for it. He was gonna go. Uh, why? Why do you hate them? What makes you think this is done out of hate? Well, I was just about to say. I mean, I don't go around killing people I don't hate, but that might be a lie. That's so a, he's not a, a cheeky wee bluff check. <laughs> um, so he's not gonna say that. He's just gonna say, well. If you liked them, you probably wouldn't be killing them. You like questions that much? Let me ask you one. If you were taken into a servitude beyond your control and made to enact the workings of ancient evil beings long clinging to some semblance of life long after they should have perished from this universe and you were made day in day out do their bidding without any concern as to your own wishes would you welcome freedom or would you send it away And she takes on our shot. I think Zig would um, Skywalker gaze at the at the ship. The two suns appear behind the it. The two suns, <laughs> yeah. Mama. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I think I think I'm, I'm happy to just kind of yeah, like have that. Yeah, kind on of, that to be know, honest, the, the poignant moment of oh god, what? Uh, right. I guess, um, what was the last thing Weird said to, as a reply to CC? It was, it was come find out, right? Uh, yeah, come find out. And then you just get back, um, yes, to say. Uh, can't, busy, is what you get back. Helpful. Um, and then I think by that point, like maybe after a bit of time, um, unless you used to have anything you want to do before Lyco catches up to you to. No, not for me. Huh? Obviously, the gunshots continue, and then eventually, Lyco catches up to the three of you. You have now got a, a trio. Trio. Mm. These are all in like the the first like kind of entrance hatch of the ship, you know. Shall we get us all done with quick before we? Like... Yeah, let's um, let's mix. I am increasingly. Conscious of having left Zig with her. I'm sure, it'll be fine. Anyway, I mean, what the RC can kill her again? <laughs> I mean, he didn't kill her, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is my weird, like, verbal faux pas. I didn't mean that blonde woman on the bus. Uh... <laughs> 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 Oh dear. Uh, so yeah, what's the plan, guys? Uh, go inside, look for him, speak to Ram and Sethu if necessary, and if so, I think I would try and convince her we can get rid of SK in a peaceable manner so as to minimize losses. So you try and navigate all the way back to like the kind of control room. Unless we have any reason to think 
uh, CC is elsewhere, then I think that seems. I mean, you what we're would typically. Just, where would you like to go in the ship is maybe a better question then, because. Yeah. The correct way. I see. What way do you think that is? Onward. Onward. Right. Okay. So you just want to like wander the ship. Um. I. I. Yeah. I will personally. I would. I would go towards the. If we don't have anything to write in this elsewhere, I would go towards the sort of the 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 bridge. I mean, that's the question. Uh, though. Nice does, does any of the three of you have anything that would direct you towards, say, uh, anywhere else that isn't just that one place you have been to in the ship that is the bridge? Because um, you haven't got anything back from them really to tell us. Nothing what? useful. But would, would there be anything, kind of, from my knowledge of uh, Eoxian shenanigans, that would kind of tell me what is the most interesting thing on the ship that CC would likely be running off to? You know, some sort of zombie replicator or something. What does Alex think would be the most interesting thing on an Eoxian ship if you had to imagine the things on an Eoxian ship? Oh, big questions. So there you go. That is probably every room on the ship, right? Yeah. So I still want to go with the zombie printer. <laughs> it's a 3D printer for zombies. Mm. Gun. <laughs> Shutter word gun, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think maybe Weird has that thought. And he's like, actually, anywhere in the ship would be interesting to CC, right? Realistically. Can I message him and ask him to turn his location on? Yeah, sure. Just share live location in Messenger. Yeah, like, or just request it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can do that. You get a reply back um, that's just the message from above, like, reply mm. to with a thumbs up. Oh. you think with six arms you'd be able to text back. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying that to him or are you... Uh... Uh, uh, just to the room. Just uh, to the room. Mm, looks like he technically is. Just a limited capacity. Can I call him? Yeah, sure. Just dial him. Yep. And then, it, I mean, I guess the equivalent of it rings out, right? Captain, if he's going to join the ship, can I tag him, please? <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is a very important precedent the captain's going to set here. So you tell me your answer, there, Zora. <laughs> Surely everybody would get tagged then. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> um, it's not the worst idea we've had, though, is it, in this game? It's, no, I think we might need to ban for the tag as well. <laughs> 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 I can't believe we've just done that. I mean, we we often know where he is. <laughs> it's yeah. just when he is. The... <laughs> <laughs> and who. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, I guess you could try. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> you all do cover like who, where, when, and why quite well, actually, as a group. Um, <laughs> whomst? Whomst? See, I gave you why out of all those. Why? Yeah, you got why. So I got where. You know. Next five slash weird got who, <laughs> and when it was obviously Zick. Yeah, all right. it's all right. <laughs> but what? Yeah, that's mine. What? That's mine. What? <laughs> what? We, 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 don't, we, we don't have a witch. We used or to a have French. a witch. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would like to be Wentz. <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess we would just continue in for lack, uh, lack of um, response. Yeah, I mean, Jesus. Like anyone is a better right? <laughs> that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so you head off in, unless there's any wanderings offs. Ah, uh, oh, I 
guess we head towards the only place we know. Yeah. I'd say that seems fair. And um, after a bit of time of manoeuvring through the ship, you get back to the, uh, the kind of the bridge room. And as you just walk in, you see a uh, CC sitting, like kind of cross-legged, in front of like a holographic chessboard, and Ramasethu standing at the other side of it. Staring oh at my it. god! <laughs> 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 uh, I'm I'm gobsmacked. Like Zora's got his mouth open. It's um, literally um, mouth open. Equals gob like, equals smacked. The chessboard is designed Christ. like a tesseract. So it's like a small cube inside a bigger cube with like planes okay. connecting them. Okay. Okay. Here the games. Nice. Each Same face level. is a board as well. Oh, it's so like it's so like play the game. It's cool. Um This isn't what I was expecting, to be honest. And then uh, like as you walk in and say that, but you get the shot of you three like being like, What? I am um, you just see a CC look at the group and go <laughs> And then go back to the game. And then, like, rub his little chin. And then, like, move one of the pieces. Um, it seems to shift the other planes ever so slightly within the Tesseract. Uh, I have to get him moving somehow. I don't. Should, should we interrupt? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should, but... Sh mm. <laughs> uh, I, do I don't know. Skittle handles play... That? Bo bone sages? Oh, he's stunned. Um... Yes. He's <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? Um... Guess that... Yeah, I mean, everyone likes game, right? Uh, but... I, mean, I thought she would have been more responsive to going on outside. She doesn't look concerned. Um... That's true. It's <laughs> a little bit disconcerting. Eh. Who cares? Rabble. Playing some chess. He is That wasn't enough. Y'all. Never, never got any of that, right. um, Colin. No. Uh, we just, <laughs> this, this day has been extremely strange. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would, yeah, I'd be scratching my head. Um, how long until the game's done? They both look at you, Zora. <laughs> <laughs> and then they look yeah, at yeah. each other over the board. And then they just look back down at the board. I'll just put my two hands up. <laughs> 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 uh, I think we might. I feel like to... we can't leave. Though. I mean, kind of important. We 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 had used for him. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a strange situation. Um, I mean, she doesn't seem overly bothered, like you said. You can definitely still right. hear the occasional gunshot, like, almost, you know, like a rhythm. Because it would, it would be like, almost familiar intervals of time right between the shots, so. Perhaps. Ah. Uh. 
can't exactly like just lift them up and take them out. <laughs> can we? Well, you, you, <laughs> probably, you probably could. <laughs> He's quite quite small. But it was weird thinking because we've been uncannily quiet. I want to message him tactics. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually tempted to get a reaction as well, to be honest. <laughs> but I was like, no, I'm too gobsmacked. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that. Let's see how much zoom I can get on my helmet. And, uh, hey, hey. Oh, dear. Do this. Uh, <laughs> I'll be back to minute, sorry. Um, <laughs> if you want, you could try. Like yeah, yes, I'm definitely doing that. I so first I need you to give me a roll for trying to work out a move, right? To look at yep. like the board and then try and do that. So there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can try and justify one of the many wonderful skills Starfinder offers, and then let me know how you get on with that, and then I'll let you know what I'm thinking in a second. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, where's my character sheet gone? Oh no, what have I done with it? <laughs> Uh, hmm. Expand. I think it would be a culture role. Right. It seems like the sort of games I feel fit into the culture space. And it's the sort of thing that Weird is likely to have picked up on this time being a tempered pilgrim. Yeah, it's not um, the worst shout, to be honest. Uh, I'll give you that. I just feel like we use culture for everything, but that's probably because Starfinder just put it in there to fix their skill system problem. Um, yeah. Don't believe the fact that they'll tell you their skills are good because they're not. Um, they're really not. Let's see. No. What, what would I think it would be? So culture seems reasonable. <laughs> um, I would argue that spatial engineering, right? So engineering, I would say. I would argue physical science, perception. Um, I would argue piloting. And then sense motive to try and gauge from her but that's probably the hardest thing to do yeah that's what I think okay engineering is probably my best one there uh, and that's more about obviously looking at the thing from a each board seems to affect the other boards yeah so it's a systems analysis approach yeah like you've seen him make one move that affected the other boards so you'd be mm. like extrapolating from that, yeah, because it doesn't seem to just work in like the kind of you know two dimensions that chess works in. So it is very quickly trying to extrapolate off mm -hmm. on my tablet. Yeah, and maybe but yeah, I love yeah. this game. Yeah, and uh, give me a roll. We'll see how well you do. Thirty-four. It's all right. Yeah, look at that. It's almost like you were built to be an engineer or something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Built oh. to build. One may <laughs> Built or to build. Me. But who will build the builders? Um, the players, apparently. Um, yeah, I would say uh, that's pretty good, uh, to be honest. Uh, I feel like you definitely know a very good move he could make next. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um how do you convey this to him? I text it to him. Uh, okay, cool. Slowly and giant. And uh, you see him like scratch his little chin. So, he, like, visibly, he's still just staring at the boards. I am um, Ramaseth, who kind of just standing very placidly at the side. Um, I continue to quote and thumbs up my message <laughs> so that he keeps appearing on the front. And, uh, like, he hasn't, like, there's no, like, tones or anything like that. Um, okay. And then uh, there is a reply to your uh, to your text message barrage of lots of, like, thumbs up and quoting it texts. Um, and it is a, like, massive paragraph of why that move would make him lose the game eventually. And it discusses all of the moves he's about to make. That if he did that one, how they would all be out of phase with them, that move 
and thus the other boards wouldn't sync up in the end to create one final board. Because the idea is that you well, collapse I... the dimensions on top of themselves until you get like the standard board left and you do the final fight, as it were, the final confrontation on that final board with whatever pieces you've managed to pull through the other dimensions. Well, I think he's wrong. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you reply that? Yeah. Cool. Um, and you just see him look at you and go... <laughs> Jesus. Yes, um, he's very, uh, you know, miffed by that. Um, then well, we're you, not here to make friends. You see him like scratching his head more, as if he's trying to like assess that move you have suggested. Like he now has to work out the other like you know sixty moves he was planning, based on his thought process. You know, has to go back to one and rebuild the strategy. Sixty moves down. So, uh, he just scratches, and then um, you get a reply, it just says, no. And then he makes the move he was going to make. Um, and then the board all shifts again. And then, uh, you all remember Ramasethu addressing you all. Maybe it's a bit abrupt this time, where you are like, well, what? Um, and you remember her having stated, is the trouble outside coming to an end? It, uh... And then she makes her move on the board very carefully, like a hand. It can be. The source is, um, known to us, and we can resolve things You just remember peaceably. her saying, like, <laughs> irrelevant. You have a task ahead of you. One we all see. A mutual beneficial outcome to. We should not delay this task. She makes another move on the boards. Well, can this be done by text message? So that we can uh, take CC with us. This game has already been won. And then you just hear the most, like, violent tirade of trips and yelps from a uh, CC. It just seems to be screaming at her. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that, CC. <laughs> <laughs> then... Your colleague seems to think this game is winnable. He is incorrect. And it's still just like CC screaming, ah, like the trips and you know, angry can animal you type noises. Can you explain why he's wrong over email so that we can get moving then? <laughs> Such a weird scene, isn't it? <laughs> I, I don't think. What was that, Colin? <laughs> just qui uh, quietly, but obviously my mic mm. isn't picking up though tonight. Um, I, I I don't think she's. I don't think she's gonna do that. Well, you could post on the conspiracy forums. I suppose there is there's a section there for online games. She um, like her head like turns to you to like regard you, uh, and you remember her saying nothing, <laughs> and then looking back at the. Uh, the game boards, and she says, as I said, and this is like kind of more aimed at CC, I, she makes like a series of moves on each of the boards that all like start to adjust the board, so it's like you make one move and then the board adjusts so she can make the move she was about to move, and then they all start like collapsing in themselves, and it becomes from a tesseract into a cube, from a cube into like a... Uh, whatever the 3D triangular pyramid is called. I can't for some reason think of the term. What's an equilateral triangle pyramid called? Just a pyramid, I guess. Uh, I think it's a triangular pyramid. pyramid. Yeah, so that turns into one of those shapes. I feel like that has a better name than those things, but whatever. Um, turns into one of those, um, and you just see CC like scratching more parts of himself with more hands. 
um, and then she makes the final couple of moves and then the board is now just one like plane um, and there's like three pieces left on the board, two of which are hers, one is his and then she like open pan gestures to him to make a move Tetrahedron Cool um, isn't, No, I guess that would be for four sides, yeah? It's got four faces. Yeah, that's so yeah. Triangular base pyramid. Yeah, that's fine. Gone. And then <laughs> sees he looks at it and then flips the holographic board away and jumps down from the the console and then just everybody gets a text. This is like um it like plays audio that just says time to go. How does he do that? Yeah. So we'll pick this up on the forum, and then I turn it around. I, I give I, I give a sort of quick nod of acknowledgement, sort of a, a respectful, not not quite a bow, but like a yeah, you know, like you know, like a, almost like a good day nod. <laughs> yeah, that sort of nod. Yeah, that exact type of nod that everybody knows. Um, the good day not, yes, of course. Good day not, yeah. Good day. <laughs> yes. And, uh, yeah, I assume we all skedaddle. Or do we? I don't know. I'm assuming everybody leaves the, the ship. I certainly. Nothing else you just want to talk to our Miss Ether or anything about before he's leave? Because she's were interrupted kind of last time. Um... I think oh. it was a fairly natural end point anyway. It was. Funny how that happens. <laughs> right, right. I mean, she was kind of just attempting to teleport you back to your shuttle. That was the the thing that was interrupted. So. Yeah. It's a long way. We've got <laughs> it now. And... Yeah, that's so. fine. That works. That works for me. I think it's probably a bit much to ask SK to come into the ship and ask her to, you know. So. Mm. We will assist SK, I believe, as quickly and uh, with as little effort as possible. <laughs> At least that's my intent. I, I don't know what other people are thinking. I think she seems like a fucking pain in the arse. Uh, yes. Yes, but we do have a body. She's been nothing but a problem. Like, every time she's she been <laughs> You're absolutely right. Oh, you're so right. But she did die. Kinda. She died saving yeah. you all? How dare you? <laughs> I was laying down covering fire and she just kept on fighting a losing fight. I mean, she literally, she literally shouted bad. to everyone, Run. And you saw like, the We'll just see. Right. She what actually did. Drama queen. Maybe that's because she knew she wouldn't be in threat. She didn't really die for us then, she just, she just wanted her up, but like, he's okay. She can see her like extra life she's got above her health bar and she's like, you don't have this! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, just all like, head out then. CC's kind of hanging from his metal legs that are walking him through the corridor really swiftly. Um, and he's got like his arms all folded with a grumpy face. And then you all, I guess, like start heading out and heading up the uh, the ridge again. Yes. Sure. Right. Again, you still hear the occasional gunshots. Um, and then the kind of the audio from your comms comes up, CT again, and it just says, uh, "Your new friend seems to be very trigger happy." Ah. Uh. Uh, wound color. Either of those things, actually. She is trick. Yes. We are definitely losing a lot of you, so. Colin. Have you heard your sensitivity on your mic or not? Yeah, it's weird. Nothing has changed. Like, I haven't touched the setting, but I uh, definitely. Th this this is what the gods of audio problems don't care about, though. There's people the touching settings. Audio settings. problems. You know why? Because they're gaudy and they're gods of audio problems. The cunts. Uh. Yeah. Right, we're... Right, all of, all of that on. came through fine, funnily enough. Nice, yeah. I'm good. It, it, is, it has been turned up, what the fuck? I, I swear to God I did nothing, and it <laughs> it turned up the sensitivity. 
So. Oh, fucking balls. Zig. Sorry. <laughs> yes. What's happened in the last five minutes for you as you've been lying on the ground talking to uh, Isabel? <laughs> Like I think, um, you know, after she um, posed the question, was, mm -hmm. yeah, I um, mean, he didn't say anything. I think he would, again, you know, kind of Skywalker gaze at the, the ship and look over at her as maybe she, like, pulls the trigger again. And I think he probably goes to say something and then just doesn't. And then I think he just kind of walks past her, sits down on the ground closes his eyes and tries to kind of block out his surroundings and kind of go into that sort of meditative state of just trying to kind of think on, like, because I don't think he knows the answer mm. to what he would do to, like, in, in that aspect, especially now that he's, you know, he's gone through a lot of mental changes and stuff so i think he, he's, he's just going to process the question in a sort of just in his own little sun universe okay yeah and um is it 10 minutes to recover stamina everybody i think it is isn't it uh I think so for a short rest i need to spend the resolve though yeah so you can yeah. do you can do that if you want zig uh do you know what Seeing as you said I can, I will. Cool. I was going to say, nah, I don't need it, but you know what will happen. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's maybe a good idea. Deserts. Acton. Eh. I've never been so proud of uh, <laughs> my paint art. <laughs> it's fantastic. Thank you. It's great, man. Modern day Picasso. Wow. <laughs> 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 um, hey man, spell what I would do in paint, alright. The uh, yeah, I guess the rest of you head up the side of the the ridge. And you just get back to her, and then like as she can like see you guys climbing up, I she stands up and kind of just shoulders the gun like over her shoulder in rest position. There, you just took your time. Um. Yeah. Um. It's kind of a hard deal, Miss Calamandos. Point towards Craig. She looks down at him and looks up at you guys. You went back for that. Hey. Fair enough. Let's go. Ah, let's let's get some done by. Um Craig just tugs at you, Zora. Yes. He just put, puts all his little hands up in grabby motions. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's all the way to make him go soft, I'll take his son. Uh, <laughs> as you go like you reach down with your hand and he climbs up your arm and just sits on your shoulders. And obviously, puts, <laughs> a, puts his hands to hold on to your head, obviously. I am now an arm blizzard. <laughs> Good! <laughs> but like a ten-limbed being now, right? <laughs> I'll fall into this sort of point position again. Mm -hmm. Yep. She um, just jumps into her mech, right? And it all like, closes up over her and she just follows on. Can I, you know, I, I I don't know if this is maybe slightly meta, but I, I can can I perception to uh, see if I notice anything up with Zig. Mm, yeah, sure. Why not? Twenty-seven. Cool. What are you looking for, though? I I don't know. I just would have you know, checked. You know, give him a quick glance over when I came back because obviously I did sort of realise oh Christ I've left I've left Zig alone. We've recently discussed how this ends. Um and uh and coming back I was just sort of like maybe slightly apprehensive that I don't know, he could have 
took his helmet off and did a little dance or something. <laughs> I, I don't know. I would say there might have been something noticeable had he not decided to mm -hmm. recover his stamina. Okay. So, right? yeah, he, he just... Yeah. But there may or may not be, like, the tiniest mark on his armour. Or, like, the mag round hit. Okay. So, yeah. Maybe that. I, th I, th I think yeah. then... I will. Uh... It's probably hard to tell because of all the fucking shimmering reflective light and how bright it is out here. Mm -hmm. um... I will make a mental note of that. I will set mm -hmm. that little thing aside mm -hmm. and perhaps bring it out at a more opportune moment. Like Unless a uh, a Zig thinks that you would notice anything else with the 27 about um, uh I think that maybe the only thing, like, uh, maybe as they come back, Zig doesn't really come out of his, like, sort of meditative reverie until um like a, a like a decent amount of time when there's a lot of noise going on as opposed to you know like oh we're back blah, blah what's happening blah blah blah, blah. Mm -hmm. oh, we should go let's get this over with uh, and then maybe as everyone's starting to think he like kind of comes back to I and mean, just stands up and follows everyone mm -hmm. yeah kind of still deep thought mode really yeah okay i yeah. mean i i don't know that that would change my response. I think what what Lyco is going to do is is yeah maybe take note of that. It's like hmm, is there, is there a little was, was his armor that bashed up before? I don't. Mm, it's a bit quiet and just fill that away for later. Because it could be overthinking on Lyco's part, right? Like yeah. it, it could be like I'm looking for things to be wrong at the same time. Um, but I don't want to get into armor becomes irreparable. Due to combat fights, because yeah, we'll deal with that as and when we have to. Uh, as you're walking for a bit, then as well, uh, Zora, you get like a calm message. It says she cheated. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, all could be psychic powers, right? Psychics. I would just tut. <laughs> you just hear him tut as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, where are you heading back to? Back to Hive Market or back to the uh, shuttle? That's uh, a good question. Well, right. same, direction, same, blah, 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 same direction for the better part of it, but... Hmm. Yeah, right. Because he's kind of told us... It would be nice to handle some stuff at the high market, but would they kind of need to go check up and Queenie as well, probably? So probably has a good idea to go away. As a... I mean, you could go to the shuttle, fly it just closer to hive market, right? If you could really do. needed to deal with something. And then go about your business, right? There's nothing wrong with like making a pit stop. Like treat that like a car, and we're in Arizona, right? Mm, I but, think it'd be a bit of an extended visit, at Hive Market. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, it's it's more like stuff that we could undertake there. Mm. Um, that might take time. Yeah, yeah, it's probably yeah. best we just deal with escape ASAP. Like either get her back on board or like. Just, just body on the way. Like, do what the hell bank is, because there's obviously jank. It's not just normal crap. But we'll do it with that when we get to it. Yeah, yeah. There's there's definitely something up there, but I mean, mm -hmm. how much time do you want to dedicate to trying to figure her real shit? Uh, <laughs> yeah. When we have other various other pressing things, all well, I know is she's more shooty now and less stabby. That's... Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean that is interesting. Yep. But then the environment might be a factor in that. She also she did um, she did use a gun before, but yeah, she one hundred percent used swords primarily before. Um, but she did have a gun before. But remember, the gun was useless in the dragon fight because it was a laser. Yeah, I mean, yeah maybe, we all we all had issues with that. Yeah, right. <laughs> maybe we need two different types of pistol from now on. 
they um, several of us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, uh, yeah. As soon as I realised every single bit of my damage was fired, I was like, oh, oh. I guess <laughs> close it is. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've made a boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've got to do one of those switches oh, on your Doshko as we discussed at the time, you know, hot yeah. and cold. Um, yeah. And then the you're perfect in, balance. Out, yep. <laughs> um, Stand by, yes. he was incredibly attractive as well in that video. Um, one of our I friends. Don't remember him. <laughs> anyway, um, Katy Perry yes, aside. So you head to the shuttle then? Is that a. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. I don't see if there's any reason to delay other than just being at the shuttle then, unless anybody wants to do anything on the way. Um, <sighs> I think. Um, unless SK is going to be become a conversationalist all of a sudden. <laughs> I mean, if you you could speak to her, right? Um, but like, I think after like so many like hours of travel, um, like uh, what do you call them, CC. I messages you again, Sora. Mm-hmm. And it just says, "Can I get a mech?" Um, yeah. Why not? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you've got like a mech backpack. Yeah, it just it, it just is the reply. The ellipsis dot 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 is the reply. But you said yes. You just realised something. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, why well, not? Everybody gets a boss at this point. Like, it's become like mega zod at some point. Great. There's then about 40 links to different types of mech that instantly get spammed in the chat. <laughs> I will ignore this. <laughs> I will ignore this. Yeah. But I'll, 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 I guess I'll turn it to SK. My boy. I really don't know why I leave you behind in that vault. And, uh... He says, yes, that is very, um... beneficial to me. Oh? Something about the contract ending, I guess? And obviously she's selling this like big mech suit thing. Um, and then she says, As I said, a conversation for better surroundings, perhaps. Mm. A couple hours in the shuttle, I guess. None, of you, su- none of you seem worried about the radiation here. Why is that? <sighs> Why, cool. Uh-huh. Why, cool. Uh... <laughs> Not really uh strictly speaking a radiation problem. And I can I can still see it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And You're I pretty crappy uh, should I let you get to the ship and you have to just guess your way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was hoping to. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, yeah, uh, I yeah, uh, You have to renew the buff at the start of the I can zone. see I can see the way through. I can see the path. Where it's where it's not so lethal. He, you hear you say so. Even you have changed. How convenient. Convenient. Um, useful. I often find convenient things are useful. Yeah. Sure. Just not one and the same. I do what I can. I, uh... (laughs) This isn't uh, the career I imagined myself for, but I am useful in this role, so... And then uh, you hear like the calm from her suit, like the lines open, but then it just like clicks off again, like she was gonna say something. Pro 
probably just look slightly over my shoulder back, like not quite mm. fully turn my head, just look back uh, as if to acknowledge, it's like, yeah, I know you were going to say something there. Uh-huh, yeah. The awkward body language of sci-fi placement, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, anything else happen? Because, I mean, he's pretty much bit the shuttle now, like I don't have an issue with these all no. getting back. I think of it all is... Mm-hmm. Like, like after a couple of hours of like heading back, like you kind of clear the radiation zone, right? And then it's just like free walking towards the uh, the shuttle at that point. And uh, be realistic. Yeah, right. And uh, <laughs> sorry. At some point, a uh, CC jumps down um, from Zora, and then like his little legs activate from his backpack, and he scuttles as fast as he can up the sides of the kind of cliff, kind of plateau steps that there were up to where the, the shuttle's parked. Um, and he just like runs around the shuttle really fast, chasing away some kind of weird big carrion birds that are like perched <laughs> all over it. Um, clacking all over the kind of like shiny surface of the shuttle. Probably sounds horrible with legs. Um, and then he, he starts like prodding buttons and goes inside as his legs like fold in behind him. Mm. Probably just a bit jump into like the egg tray again. One hundred percent, of course he is. <laughs> uh, just the best way to deal with him. Um, yep. So he's in. He's he's past the airlock. Yeah. Um, she's all head there. Like she jumps out of her her mech. It all like Iron Man opens up and she like jumps out of it. It all closes itself back up and then she takes something off her belt. And it almost like three D scans the thing, um, and it's gone. She clicks it back Convenient. onto her belt. Convenient. And she just replies, "Useful." Oh. And walks past you onto the shuttle. It's getting me one of them. Something else for the Viscarium <laughs> to liquidate. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Um, she motions to like the shuttle, and she's like, "I see this is new as well." Um, not quite owls. Is this a story I need to hear? And she kind of looks at you oh, like, "You'll find out soon enough." Hmm. <laughs> or not. Uh, I've got to love that. It's not great. And then, like, she has that thing where she sits back in one of the chairs as if relaxing for the first time in, like, forever. And then she just, like, the camera, like, focuses behind her, and it's the egg crate lying on its side um, with CC tucked in behind it. And her just staring as her head turns slowly away from the camera towards the egg. And I'm like, why do you have that? Zig? Well, I wanted to keep it safe. That doesn't belong to you. Does it belong to you? No, that belongs to Grace. Why do you have that? Uh, and probably like even just the the name being said gives you flashes of like yeah like the, at like, the, 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 the woman Kurt Callum like <laughs> like it probably gives you flashes of like the woman standing in that weird orangey place with the like yeah. the kind of liquidy floor that you were standing on and her just kind of like pointing towards like the sun. Um, I, I I don't think Zig would have a response to that. Um, I think he he would just like uh, uh, um, maybe scratch the back of his neck and just say it's just uh, see. What are you saying? <laughs> 
That was it. No, literally, that is what I said. I didn't cut out or anything. That's what, that's what no, I said. You, you did. I didn't hear the word. Oh, I said safe. Okay, cool. I didn't actually hear that. <laughs> oh, did you not? Sorry. Oh, okay. Apologies. I don't know why I'm apologizing. But... And then she looks at the group and she says, it's weird. Do you still have Nix's memories? Or are they gone too? Then we'll wait for Alex to catch up with us. Nope. Alex make me muted. Alex make me muted. Hello. I Okay, I just had to change my audio input on Discord uh. and change it back and it worked again. Perfect. <laughs> no. Strange. Did you hear what I said though? I did, yes. Yeah, perfect. I Good. Excellent. Um yeah, I was just wanting four times. Uh, yeah, I said, of course I do. Forgive the question, but I often forget how your kind remember their former lives. That is all. Uh, you clearly know very little of my kind. <laughs> Sorry. That we don't change physical appearance. You are part of a very abstract group that seem to be full of unexpected results. I feel like if I made assumptions, I would be more the fool. I mean, I was introduced to you when they, you asked where Nix 5 was, so some mm. deductions would be reasonable. I do not need Nix Five's memories. I need Nix's memories. Which ones? Nix. The progenitor. Yes. Well, that's a different question. Um, I believe I've encountered one of his memories. And she like pauses a second, and she looks back at Zig and then back at the egg, and obviously you just start hearing purring from CC as he's tucked himself in the back of the crate underneath the egg. She says, do you know what this is? She's saying it directly to you. Weird. Yes, it's Grace's child. Good. You know enough. We should return yes. this to her. I don't think I've ever mentioned that to the crew. Uh, no, I don't think you have. Yeah. So. No, I, thought, I think that's weird from using that. Was just, uh, yeah, that never came up. Uh, MD else reacting to the fact that <laughs> weird I seems to be very... I think they stare at weird. Yeah. And stare at the egg. And stare at weird, weird and stare at the... Well, the, the, the box <sighs> containing the egg. Yes. Um, Do you know about the egg? Yes, uh, the progenitor Nix uh, helped deliver it on behalf of her grace. Grace? Yes. Uh, uh. Zora just looks between Zig and the Wii. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's like they, uh, they've done way uh, more of the puzzle just... than they've let on. <laughs> <laughs> the Radiant Supreme was there. It was a thing. How does that feel, Zig, having the Radiant Supreme brought up again? Um, mixed feelings. I think is. Uh, I think he's more kind of like there. There was knowledge of the egg here the whole time, and nobody felt like. They should, you know, by nobody we mean. I mean, weird, obviously. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I, I think, like, part of me is like Zig would say that, but I think I don't think he would. I think he's too. Um, oh God! Like, what? Uh, uh, but, uh, 
Hmm. And that like that the yeah, I think that's all all people are getting it seeing right now. <laughs> hmm. In which case weird is just yeah, looking across the escape. And uh, Zora or Lyco, any input? <sighs> Maybe a conversation for after the pyramid of other conversations? Question mark? <laughs> I, I don't think this is my area of expertise, but I do find it interesting. And also his lack of access to his first forms, memories, is also interesting. I'm interested. I am I'm, very interested. I am confused as Zora and probably as a player as well. I think maybe what's going through Zig's mind is the if this is the child of grace, whose child is the void egg? Whose child is the the, the power center of Daza? Mm. And I think that that's basically where his brain's going. Then is like how many children? Mm -hmm. and before the Daza egg, Edgar's. <laughs> 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 Not that yet. No. Yeah. Oh dear. Universe's best dad. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. But get to the show the whole time. Um. Right. Being a present father in his kid's life. Uh. Um. Well, why doesn't Zig say some of that then? Right. Why doesn't Zig like vent some of that into the room? Those thoughts that you, you know just what? had. I think he will. Um, I think maybe he does have like a, a good like minute or so of just uh, but uh, but but, and then he would look at um, Furler, look at look at Weird. Um, they're probably just at staring at each other. To be honest, like Isabel yeah. and Weird are probably just like. She's probably saying like, oh my god, I can't believe you've known this the whole time and done nothing with this information. And we're just like staring back at her, expecting a reply to the, the situation. <laughs> so, it's, but if the, but if that's Grace's child, then whose child's the void dig? And whose child's the, 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 the center of Daza? Like what? And how many, how many children are, what's, and then he just kind of goes, um... Unfortunately, I only have memory of delivering the one of them. And keep in mind, though, right? Something that I need to correct you on. It is the void egg you delivered. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. It's okay, but like, yeah. yeah. But the void egg was Grace's child. Therefore, I deduce that this is also Grace's child. I'm not sure how her Grace keeps having such large eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, who, who's Grace? I, think, I would not. I think maybe like um, the three people that know who she is all kind of turn and look at the group, like just being like Zig, weird and like Isabel, and the three of them just stare back at, you know, the two of you. Um, um, does MD answer before she does? Because I know this is a system. Nope. <laughs> <Not>. <laughs> That's my excuse. Both for this system. And, um, does Zig or Weird answer the question before she can? No, no. Zig? No, I think Zig's still um, waiting for start to fall. And uh, then uh, Isabel says she is the burning mother. This is a sun thing. I see. <laughs> the sun thing. I'm going to ask for a little bit more um, context. I only have vague memories to draw on. Yeah. How did... You know, on the subject of 
things that I don't know. What what's the electro thing and how how did everyone but me know what it was? The electroencephalon. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know what it is. Like, with this. Uh, and I think it just uh, as if it goes the electro thing. Electroencephalon. Yeah. Basically. Uh, essentially, like. Is the vest we're told if you really want to kill a bone sage, you've got to get that. So I guess it's like why do you bone sage's soul? <laughs> a, live, a live backup that they can recreate themselves from. Yes. Techno babble. Yes. <laughs> SK, or should say Isabel, is just a bit puzzled at that. Be like, wait, what's this got to do with anything? Right, is the I look can, on her face? I can see how that would relate to Cindy L. Okay. I thought Cindy L died on Absalom. Exactly. Like Absalom, that to kill her, my bone sage. Well, you fought them. <sighs> um. Are you just trying? To destroy Sindael's electroencephalon? She kinda says, looking at the group, trying to size up the group. I mean, no, shake right. my head. <laughs> like, you know, the pop of that. Yes. It's about the only thing that will stop a brand new war. Brand new freeway war. Why are we always thought was? Also, it turns out. He sort of created me, and I kind of need some answers in that. So you want to go resurrect your dad? Okay, that's fine. I understand that. Anything else about this war you want to share that I should be worried about? Uh, um, my dad's actually alive. <laughs> Just. <laughs> 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 she looks up. And... <laughs> she looks up at you, raises an eyebrow, and goes. Yes, I thought we just covered that. No, I mean, like, I've only been undead for... Decade? I'm... I'm, I'm only, like... <laughs> counts and he's been... 40-ish? I don't... I, I, I don't... I don't keep track. Pre pretty sure my... Human folks are still alive somewhere. She's just staring, like, why am I doing anyway, this? Yeah, like, uh, that's, like, the look um, on her face, like, what is this got to do with yeah, anything? Yeah, um, no, uh, the, uh, the situation with Sindel is about answers to questions and about preventing other bone sages from doing things that lead to war uh, between the Pact Roads and the Vesk. And also, there's the Aeoxian. It's really quite stressful and I don't understand most of it. Why did Zig know? Uh, Zig, how do you know these things? <laughs> I'm, I'm nodding this whole time, essentially. <laughs> um, I have my sources. Does Callum not remember why he knows? <laughs> uh, no, Callum doesn't remember why he knows because he went to the library in the Forbidden Perfect, section. yep. Perfect. Yeah. Um, but I think he was trying to be be as like as possible. In <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I, I, but I just, uh, really not pulling it off. Very looks well over at, at Zig when he enters it, and he's all in his operative outfit for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> I just look at him, sort of with a, a mixture of disbelief and amusement in my face, and sort of nod very woodenly. Oh, okay. And then, yeah, yeah I, I think Zig would say. Um, in in the in the temple, there's um, uh, restricted archives <laughs> of okay. um, it's, information. It's, that makes sense. You're 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 curious. They hide stuff away from me. You're gonna want to learn it. How did how did you? Well, not you, but I mean you know. But how did you know that's addressed to weird by the way I guessed that <laughs> yes. I 
can't remember if we actually agreed why, Ryan. I, no, so, we did. We discussed uh, the fact that, like, um, yeah, out uh, of the artifacts, an electroencephalon would have been the most sought after, expensive, yeah, yes. but, like, holy grail, unattainable. That was it, yes. Yep. Um, if somebody came to you and asked for that, they'd either be laughed at, or. Yes. Yeah, it would have been, like, the deadliest fucking mission ever, right? Um, uh, so, yeah. I... But you could retire for the rest of your lives with well, the payout from an electroencephalon. It's something of a collector's height, uh, well, a collector's dream, and uh, the scavenging community is awash with rumours about them. They are worth a lot of money. So it was X5's, you know, one of his younger dreams to find one and sell it. And, uh, okay. Escape this hole. And here I am. Never heard of the thing. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, that's either because you're, you know, too high to high up in society to be interested in it, or too low that it doesn't matter to you. Yeah, there's kind of the dregs of Akaton or the uh, the grand politics of Eox. And well, I'll try not have none. And the invaders, yes. Sorry. Ha. Just oh, it's so smooth. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Huh. Feels like a kind of the butt of a cosmic joke sometimes, but anyway. Um. So we have. The, the egg is literally an egg, which I kind of assumed because the dragon ate it. The other one it just looks at um, how many ate the egg. Mm. Well, I mean, in the MMS remembering, I thought he swallowed it. He did, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just, uh, just the way you went mm, there. Sorry. <laughs> no, that, that was that was it. <laughs> Yeah, all right, so I, I, my ears are wrong and bad. Um, mm. uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably be up the hand right after you died. Not died. Also, I mean, his minion was... Do you have an electroencephalon? Extremely tough. Sounds too weird at that. <laughs> and she says, you said you were working on a plan regarding Himani and his continued ability to breathe. Yes. We're going to kill him. <laughs> we, 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 um... How do you RP that she has an aneurysm? How is it? <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we have some materials that may assist in that we were able to procure some dragon bones for that oh. end. from a dragon skeleton she rolls mm. her eyes and oh god the scream that is heard across <laughs> the galaxy <laughs> oh. <laughs> you may recall the late drow queen as in the one that Hamani He's, he, he, he's taking a shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Ryan looks through his notes because she knows her by name. Give me a second to I go find her name. Jessica. <laughs> Jessica. Janida. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why I said that. Imagine it had been, you know, Jessica Jejuns. Just to be like really no, that that'd remember. be if she was a marsh. Yeah, um, yeah, totally the John Jones. Um, John, John Jones. Um, right, let's Literally. see like, how far back. God, what session was it? It's pronounced Hun Hunnis. Okay, so I've got my session thirty-eight notes. Is it on there? Nope. Um, Christ. 
Although on that, on these notes, it does say what to do on Akaton, and then it says Akaton hyphen crashed the Oxian cruiser. So you know that was session thirty eight. Um, oh Yeah. Woo! Um, right, I've got Snyder written on this one, so that's good, right? Snyder's written on this one. That was thirty seven, but where is the name I put down for the other one? So because I definitely wrote a name down. Imagine needing that at this time. Man. Um, I think it was something like Lilantra. I'm sure it was like Lilantra. Uh, it was the name. So that Some was, shit. So that was the name that Escape will see. Is Lilantra. We'll add it in post, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's totally mm. not going to happen. <laughs> no, it's fine. We'll add it in post. Okay. Um, well, L Lilantra is what I'm saying for now until I can. And because she has said the correct name, I'm sure we'll all agree. Uh, well, no, you just didn't like know her name, did you? Um, did we not? Oh, okay. I don't think so. Why don't you all roll oh. every day but culture? Zig? Every day but Zig roll a cultural because you all were tracking her down, right? Oh yes, and tracking is. <laughs> Culture is a lot like tracking, right? <laughs> <laughs> tracking someone's culture. Zora? Ah, two seconds. My road. Okay, Zora. Zora. Crash. Crash the pood. Okay, what, like a crash the pood? I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. like, that just said, like, road 20 error. But... <laughs> Weird. Um, right, what am I rolling, sorry? What's the roll? Culture. Yeah, of course it's culture. Wrong. What else would be rolling in this game? It's uh, skill. Sure. Sure. It's the skill. That's what I'm very happy that I'm a semi cultured desk. Semi. Um, Sculptured. I would say that. Uh, it's a pretty semi cultured. Lycle probably, <laughs> like probably did all the legwork to learn about her, let's face it, based on that. Um, Yay. And okay. you probably did tell everybody about it, but maybe you can lead to the RP in this particular moment when she says a little intro. <clears throat> okay, um, so yeah, uh... Yeah, okay, um... Trying to think of exact phrasing, but... I'll, I'll go cat. That would be her. You... Hmm. I mean, she didn't know this, right? Because this happened... This happened before. Yeah, 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 she knows about that. She knows about this, right? She's not confused about it. I mean, did she think that some different drug queen he's eating? Um, anyway. I should have told her yeah. about the drink each. She was like... It's how he was able to get into the... Remember? Anyway. And she looks and she goes, That's not my concern. You say... He took... The egg and he ate the egg. Yes. Yeah. Said, I'm trying to beat him up. Couldn't stop him. Happened right after you, you got dead, not dead. Make no mistake, I did die. Um... Sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't really want to experience it myself. Not about an extra life. Yeah. She kind of looks at the group. And she just sits back on the chair. <laughs> and she says, You just have the solar egg. The void egg was swollen by. And she just kind of like rocks a bit back and forth in the chair. Himani. And. Use her hanging around with Queenie in Daza. She looks as a g <clears throat> Well, I think also um just to, to zoop back a little bit when she says we have the void egg uh, the solar egg, sorry. Um okay. e, solar. I think um on maybe maybe under his breath, maybe just in his head, I'm unsure. I think he would say, well, we definitely have a solar egg. <laughs> um, and, 
Yeah, I think you go. Well, you remember the Queen's Vault, the Lantra's Vault. Yes. Yes, the the Lantra. Okay. Mm. Um. Sure. Well. These are so reassuring, by the way. <laughs> uh. Lelantra <laughs> was keeping um, the Nida in her vault. The Nida's still alive? Or has she died and been drank too? No, oh, she's the one that's in the hospital. She's in the hospital, yeah. Yes, she's the key. Sorry, we missed that bit. Yeah. Um. Sonida is... You exposed Sonida to the radiation of Daza. Yes, that was a... An hour. Well, the yeah. well <laughs> we, you say we exposed her. More that she... You know... She did that herself. She mm. has a habit of exposing herself. Mm. That's true. Mm. I mean, it was to save me, Sora. It was weird that she even knew where you were, let's be honest. Uh, I haven't put much thought into it. Um, but yeah. And, um, Zig awkwardly smiles. She has your attack. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's a lot for a... Isabella to take in, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> so, she sits there and she says, We should return this to Grace before Hermione gets his hands on this, too. I. Okay. Okay. Told you a lot about us. <laughs> yeah, kind of like she's like nodding and like her like chin and her her fist, like you know, trying to like as if she's trying to process. Oh God, everything that's in play currently. And this would be a really bad time to tell her about her little um, Octurn situation as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or maybe, you know, actually tell the party <laughs> about her Octurn situation. Mm -hmm. uh, um. Oh yeah, so, um, yeah, Octurn's probably, um, uh, what was the description again? For you, there was a lot of like you know violent activity in the atmosphere. Yes, um, something's happening at Octon. Uh, probably a Librium friend. And I mean, that's my assumption. I think. I think if um, and they give it enough to work on, right? You you looked into like what the stranger was and learned it was. Yeah, Octon, I think so. if um, Zora said that, I think maybe because he's definitely been like. Wait, actually, did you did I know that you do it and put it? <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> but anyway, I would, if I said that, I would tell her, wait, wait, what? Yeah, no, <laughs> uh, I think if, um, yeah, if, if Zara said that, I think they would just be like, maybe get a flash. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, a flash back to, like, you know, the Radiant Supreme talking to him. And then him, like, kind of thinking about it and looking into it and going. And I think he would just say the stranger has awoken. She just stands automatic like that. How do you know this? He... He told me. Uh, the, the Radiant Supreme, that is. Not, not, not the stranger before anyone gets... When did it? He told me that the stranger had awoken. I'd completely forgotten... All when? about it. When was it? this? <sighs> Now, this is a really good question, Ryan. When was this? 
Was that not on about, the ship? About um, ages ago. Fifteen sessions ago, maybe. <laughs> oh, Frank, it was more than that, man. Or was it? Twenty. I don't know. It was like before we even got to <laughs> uh, what should we call it? Was that place? Uh, Wells, Wells Ivan? Was the place called again? So um, it's versus versus versus. Mm-hmm. I think it was before it we was even before got to versus. versus. It was. Um... I think it mean before Akaton. To be honest, it was on the way to Akaton. <laughs> yes, it was. Before it went, it, wow! It was, was awesome. probably it was probably session twenty three. Twenty three, which yeah. was which was the tenth of June, two thousand nineteen. That was a ride, though. I just went like in a backwards track through the whole story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh, it was there. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I think I think you know Zig's kind of standing eyes wide. Um, probably feeling a bit guilty that he forgot about it. Well, I learned about the activity just after, well, just before we left Versus. So things are kicking off over there. How did you learn of the activity? I learned from it, from my old commander. What are the Vesk doing about it? <sighs> Currently... More interested in taking over um, the system and taking advantage of it, quite frankly, than dealing with it. Can just size at that. Yep. <laughs> like she's got I'm at side back. <laughs> yeah, she's got very little she can really offer that particular situation. Um, yep. <laughs> it's been the odds, and she says. Do you just have a plan, or do you use just bounce around the planets taking things that don't belong to you? Ah, uh, I mean... I feel like we kept get, keep getting misplaced. Yeah. It's, yeah. I, we do. We, we try, okay? We were in the middle of getting things done before you started like, shooting up a spaceship. That kind of slowed us down again. <laughs> Weird higher powers are getting in our way. Oh, not me. <laughs> Obscure higher powers are getting in our way. It's... Also, people... People don't tell me anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and I withhold information from my part. I've not had a chance to, okay? You haven't, you to get haven't really, shit. yeah. It's, it's alright, Kep. I'm, I'm pretty good at getting information from random strangers. Oh god. <laughs> we all have flashbacks. Also, my session 36 notes just say combat question mark and then the words president threat. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it <laughs> says. Um, I mean, look, we, we all play our cards close to chess sometimes. I'm not complaining. I didn't immediately tell everyone about Edgar. What about Edgar? Does Captain know? Did they tell you? Edgar? I told... dead? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, he, he's not. I, uh, I told Zig, and I just thought, sort of thought it was his business, because, you know, he has some sort of affinity for the thing. Um... Wait, something tried to kill Edgar? Yeah, the, the, the queen. Yeah, that would be Queenie, yes. As a... It's an she was... Yeah. She thought he was a threat to Zig. She was all amped up from the radiation. It went poorly for Edgar, but, you know, he... Whatever, he's not really a person. He's just walking around pretending to be one, so he got back up after a while. I was there. She just looks like the fuck, I think is the, the best expression on her face to describe it as. Are you aware of his conflict with his boss? Enlighten me, if you would, please. 
Um, essentially, MO, rat them off, pretty much. Why? Uh, do you know this? Uh, why do we know this? Oh, no, so like, no, like, as in, why, comma, do you know this? As in, do you know the answer to why did you write them off? Um, no, why do you know this? <laughs> was it something to do with the goblins? Uh, yeah, you got captured by a bunch of fiends. Fiends. <laughs> Uh, and yeah. Well. I don't believe that um, these goblin fiends, which looks between the two of you, as you have used different terms, would be able to overpower Edgar. Do you? Uh, that's what I was thinking, but they were really resourceful. It was, wow, that was a crazy one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was crazy. Strange, yeah. <laughs> but they were able to enter the building, which Aspis is not known for allowing without the intervention of security, so my guess is they had inside help. Um, they were also found in custody of, in the name of previous Elf Queen here, um, Lelantra. Lelandra, there you go. Thank you. Um, uh, Think oh, of Le well, um, Lelandra from uh, the X-Men. I think we, just say, I think we, I just think we came to the, the conclusion that they probably turned him over for a bounty, and then she decided that it would be better not to pay and just keep them. I would kind of snigger at that and say, ha ha, it's all rotten in that deal with us today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Edgar is locked up in this jail cell. Oh, oh no. Looks at Zora. And she looks oh, back no. at her. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, uh, you, so you weren't the one with Edgar. She just looks at Zig and then looks back at like Lyco and Zora. Who was locked up by Lelantra? Uh, I'm starting to think probably a lot of people. Yeah. Edgar was there, but we didn't know it was him at the time because we didn't know he was whatever the hell that thing is. Uh, we had only dealt with him in his human-looking form. So he's and, no, then. Well, we know that he's something. It struck me as demonic, but I'm not really informed about that stuff. I see. So who is still locked up within the former newer Dry Queen's prison? Um, so you? Nobody that we know of? I mean, there's probably still tree. someone somewhere in there. It's not like we searched the whole place and let everyone out. We just let the night out and that we know of. <laughs> well, Unless you count your body. Anyway, Ed Edgar is here in, in Dazzle. You said you don't know what he is. We know he's here and that he's hiding. Or we think he's hiding. He's one of the Breervath. Oh yeah, one of those. What? The... They're found on Octurn, of all places. Uh, oh. Oh dear. This is concerning. What, what are they? Are, are they supernatural? It looked supernatural. We don't really have time for this, but long ago, idiots, and she just looks at the group, worshipped them as gods. They were wrong. Okay. Well, you know, I'm not a religious guy. Um, whatever he is struck me as more unnatural, really. Like, 
being in its presence was if I'm wrong frightening and sickening it was yeah but he is here and he is squatting in the one part of this world that's absolutely awash with radiation so Where did you say he was here? Most likely, I actually can't remember if you said that he was at Daza. I said in Daza. In Daza. Daza, Daza yes. And she says, So you're telling me that the former Dry Queen Sanaida was held captive by her sister Lalantra in Lalantra's yep. vault, where the Void Egg was held that now Himani has swallowed <laughs> because you handed him the liquid remains of the Lantra. Pretty much. Yeah, that's not unfair. Uh, right. And now you're telling me that a beer vath that feeds on light and energy from Octurn and you're telling me there is activity on Octarine, and now you're saying this Edgar, who has seemed to be killed by the Sanida, but not killed by the Sanida, who's been hospitalized, he is near a massive source of power. Mm. Sounds about right. Probably. When you say it that way, it sounds really bad. <laughs> power, but yeah. So what, he's charging up? She just looks like it's a group and she's like... Do you know anything else you're holding on to? Should I know anything else? Um... um Do you want to quickly dump us on the the, 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 the map so we can see? <laughs> He's really want to go uh, back to that map, yeah, why not? Let's go back to the We told her map. about the other Bone Sage. What was his name again? Atlantis. Atlantis, the Aztec, yeah. Um, <laughs> te yeah, the, uh, the situation is complex. There are many fronts. It's about the Libran, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably this one way in the vanilla bean. You um You're uh you're not exactly forthcoming. And some of these things yourself, you know. I'm just trying to form an accurate big picture before I leap into the free. What has Edgar done in Daza? Besides he... feed zig radioactive noodles? You I don't know. He tried to kill you. She said <laughs> Zig very quickly. I died. Well, um. I mean, it might not have been intentional. It was just noodles. Okay. Um. Anything more useful? She kind of waves her hand over Zig. You seem to eat a lot of noodles. <laughs> Not that we know of. You spoke to someone who looks similar to you. Kind of just like slowly like nods like she's thinking. And presumably whatever he's doing wouldn't. Oh, Aspis. 
whether it be um, you know, a hostile takeover or just good old fashioned revenge. He disappeared with Amani. That what time? You just never told SK that though, I don't think, did you? I don't think so. Um so Zig says that and she just like looks at you like very quickly, like when? And Zig tells her when. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was when you it was, it was probably <laughs> just before you got the vision of Grace, to be honest. Um oh, sorry, not the vision of Grace, the vision of the uh what's it called? Variant Supreme. Ah, yes. Because obviously it was when you were travelling towards, because remember you were, you jumped from the collecting Zig from the throne ship, and you were jumping towards uh, Absalom, and you were stopped, remember? Yeah. In midway, and Himani stepped on board, and then drank the Queen. And obviously then him and Edgar left together. And the rains have been mostly just showered in his weird he never moist did talk. Play as... I mean, he did say, "Come to Triaxis to claim your, your, you know, payment." But he's never That's went. The point. Um, we will. But currently, Triaxis has a uh, Tectalanus and a uh, Dmogesh. Yeah. There, so it's uh, and and the, the plot is there. In other <laughs> Could... And Himani's oh, potentially there, right? And they're building new Absalom Station there, right? Oh God, what? Mm. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but anyway, um, she looks at you when you say that, and she says, "Himani and Edgar are working together." Hmm. Or at least they have some shared interest. They may have shared common goals at one point, but whether or not that's currently the case... Amani definitely has concern. no love for the Aspis Consortium, that's for sure. Why deal with them if you could deal with the dragon? But if Amani is in possession of the Void Egg... And you somehow have this egg. I wonder if Edgar is going after this third. Uh, probably he is, isn't he? She's kind of like, she doesn't really hear you say that. She's kind of lost in her own, like, trying to work out what the fuck is going on face. Yeah, I think I think he says that, like, maybe not l loud enough to be, like, said to people, but loud enough for people to hear. Mm -hmm. Everything is connected. And else is coming, like... yeah. Or is this Lyco, sorry. Yeah. Um, I feel like... Edgar is the connection. So, hmm. I don't know if these, if he has more of a role in this than it initially might have seemed, or if he's just uh, seizing an opportunity. I think we've all been played. She just says, like, to the open space in front of her, right? Um... Yeah, used to that, but can you be more specific? You were tasked to capture or kill me for Edgar. <clears throat> yeah. I don't worry, I don't hold a grudge. She kind of just like... You can maybe tell this was maybe a really poor attempt at like a joke to ease the tension, right? But it was mm. definitely not... There was like no effort put into it, right? Um, and she says... Edgar would have known you couldn't have taken me out. Again, no offence meant... But and she kind of like she very briefly glances at Zig and then at the rest of the group. I was definitely beyond you. Perhaps not anymore. And she kind of like leans on the crate, um, 
the egg is in, obviously, because as I say, it's still tipped over and you can still see the side into the egg and you still hear the purring from within, because <laughs> CC has slept <laughs> through all of this. <laughs> <laughs> no plot for him. Where CC has actually got like an open comms to Amani. Uh... <laughs> He's the spy. <laughs> <sighs> and, um, yeah, so she says, these were tasked to try and recover me or take me out of the the picture, as it were. But what in fact happened was it put you on my radar. Then you were, before even this, you were sent off to that godforsaken place in the diaspora by Edgar. You woke up and now this Eox purged of its residence. I then have to come to use to get off of Absalom because of the and she's like she's not finishing her sentences deliberately she's kind of like jumping to the next yeah. conclusion before mm-hmm. she can finish the the previous one and then like her eyes are like darting side to side as she's like piecing this together and she says do you just not see it she kind of like just like has like her like a finger up against her lip, and she's just looking at everybody. They he engineered the release of the Olibrian in order to push the Bone Sages out. In turn, she shakes her head. No, I think it was worse than that. I think it was to retrieve the star stone from Absalom. Which the Olibrian has. And was it weird says why? Yeah. Star stone's a source of um, power. She says that really vaguely. Could he absorb it? Shakes her head. The Bravath aren't really... They're not well documented, but the... uh, The light spectrum is where they focus most of their uh, appetites. And maybe Zig has flashes of when he was pulled through time. And he Mm. fed Edgar loads of light. Remember when you were shining bright in the dark? Um, Powering his rainbow blasts. Yeah. Horrible place. Yeah, uh, the sweaty intestines of uh, the vault. <laughs> and um, sweatest. She says, "How they uh, managed to get Absalom to work is actually <laughs> beyond my expertise. Unfortunately, it was never an interest of mine. It should have been now that I'm seeing this grander picture. But." How else to retrieve something that would damn thousands if not being able to blame it on something else? Like the Oxians. Mm. It is a good strategy, if that is indeed what he did. And if... But if he knows about would... the third egg. This is perhaps why he is in Daza. It would make sense. How would he... How could he know what the Olibrian would do once it awoke? She looks at goes, honestly, oh, she just shrugs. And she's like, maybe he didn't. But the Olibrians were not fond of necromancy. The survivors, if you can call them that these bone sages are bastardizations of what they once were. Terrible as they still were, they were not corrupted by this magic. Perhaps this is what Edgar was banking on. The Librian's hatred to what his people became. Purely to survive. And (sighs) 
How? I... It can't just be Edgar, though. That's the thing. He he couldn't have known uh, everything, and he couldn't have managed everything. Surely, he had too many moving parts in too many places. She sits back down on like the edge of the seat, and she's got like her elbows on her knees, and her hand and her like her head on her hands, and she's just kind of shaking her head back and forth. And like, again, I'm only working with what I've got. I can't say I I know the the truth of it. I'm just trying to piece it together like you. But your point about his capture? It did seem strange, but it seems a lot strange, a lot less strange if you, um, if you work with the assumption that the inside job was, you know, manufactured by him. He okay. got in because he let them in. If he let himself be captured, he knows he would look like a liability to his boss, MO. She'd, so maybe, ju she'd maybe just say Narakis at that, right? Because she, she maybe just wouldn't say MO, she'd probably say Narakis. And then, a uh, So, Narakis would definitely get rid of weakness from the ranks. Easily replaceable. Easily replaceable. However, perhaps he banked on this. He wanted to distance himself from Aspis. You say he's in league with Hermione. Hermione would not align himself with Aspis. But finding Edgar, <laughs> licking his wounds, being rescued by, no offence, you. Hermione would, his pride would kick him. Of course he would take him in. It proves how glorious Hermione is. How, how much more powerful he is than Edgar. Damn. Smart. Playing the dragon's pride. Risky. And also, it's desire to possess things that belong to the drow queen, given their previous interactions. Also, what better place to store something you intend to retrieve than in a dragon? If Edgar is collecting these... Furs. There's one... There's one thing that troubles me, though. I can see how he could juggle all these. The, the, the importance of the individuals involved. But there are so many unpredictable consequences. And more of, moreover, how could, he con how could he control the response of the Viscarium? I have no doubt that he'll find a way to play it to his advantage. Whatever happens... Clearly, if he's even done half of what you're suggesting, and I, frankly, listening to you here, it all makes a great deal of sense and would explain a lot of confusion away. But how could he account for the vest? How could he know what the prevailing wind would be? When, where, how they would strike, if they would strike? If they tear themselves apart. Look who he hired. She just turns and looks at Zora. Why your crew? <sighs> out of all of the available, expendable people out there. You've got the most famous Vesk in the system here. Which means... If he throws you into the mix, of course you're going to pull the Viscarium in with you. You can't not. But as to, <sighs> as to controlling it all, perhaps he had no intentions of controlling it all. Perhaps he wants the chaos. Because it stops people like you piecing it together. And it would... Frankly... It would stop those who are better informed than us from being able to respond if they have a war on their hands. So he chose the crew for its composition, not just because we were someone he was familiar with and comfortable using. That means he... We all remember the strange things that went on with... Remember the illusionary? The, the, the false... 
Edgar. Just kind of like narrows her eyes. The what? I'm I'm saying this to the to the party. Oh, is, mean, this a, is it is, is this a out of character conversation? No, it's it's okay. in it's it's in character. I mean, okay. remember that. I mean, who's to say that wasn't him? You know, all along. I. I And she is like the what? Like that is her reply. But is MD else talking to Lyco at this point? <sighs> and your connection to the egg your interactions within the vaults. So what did he want weird for? But he didn't want weird. He wanted Nix 5. I know why he wanted me, because... I think, like, Isabel looks at weird... Um, does weird look back at her, or...? Yeah. When Lyco yeah. says that, because do you get why you might be involved in this? Even if Lyco doesn't? Is this just more of the, the, the memories? Yeah. Was it an access route? So, because yeah, like, like, keep in mind. I am just as a reminder as well. Earlier in this particular conversation, like you learned that like Nix had exposure to like Grace and then the soon to become yeah. Radiant Supreme. Um, well, yeah, no, it is it is starting to make a great deal of of sense to. He actually also has a name, by the way, before he became Radiant Supreme. Slugboy. Yeah. John Slugboy. Slugba. <laughs> Attorney at law. Slugba, Slugboy. It's a um, when you see it. That. <laughs> so he had... Let's imagine... That whatever went on with Emmeline was really his work. Okay? And that he willingly left Aspis. Where did we leave Emmeline? What does Edgar and Emmeline have to do with each other? That was a question for a long time, and I'm starting to think I see the answer. He denied that the visions she had of him were really him, that something was impersonating him. But So this Emmeline seen the visions of Edgar? That's my understanding. And, I mean, come on, the obvious explanation is that he <laughs> arrogant son of a bitch wanted us to think it was him so that, so that he could deny it, so that he could, I don't know, hold it over our head at some later date? I, I don't know. Maybe he just thought making it look like him, we would all go, oh, well, he says it's not him, it's someone trying to get it. I, I don't know. But let's assume it really is him. He's left Aspis. He's made it clear that his intentions are essentially war with the leadership. He's not going to get any information from them. His old sources will know what happens if, if they not only were to consort with someone who had failed to live up to the expected standards um, by getting captured by mere 
goblins of all things, but but who had looks actively, at Captain. I know who had actively <laughs> turned against the company was an enemy. They, I mean, they know what the cost would be of dealing with Edgar, so none of them would. Which is, which is why Emmeline is there. Has Zig had any? I, I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. Has Zig had any um, mental intrusions from actual Edgar? I don't think so. Okay. Like ever? Yeah. No, yeah, like ever at all. Yeah, that's fine. Because I think while Lyco's like kind of, you know, clearing out like all the, all this these potentials and stuff and things making sense, I think Zig would bring that up. Um, I'm just trying to find the words for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've never had any sort of attempt from Edgar to enter my mind. But, and then he would look over at um, Furler, mm -hmm. which is more than I can say, or less than I can say, whatever. How about you, Miss Furler? She like raises an eyebrow. Like she goes, your point being. I think it's just very convenient that everything that you've said so far makes perfect sense. <laughs> As I said before, <laughs> I find convenience useful. Right. Hmm. She kind of just sits it's and stares um... at you for like a second and she kind of like looks at everybody and then as soon as you speak it's like there's a bit of relief in her face to be like oh good, possibly more sense. <laughs> it um... It does... Uh... Look, I understand. Like he, uh, he wasn't all told particularly unpleasant to deal with. I mean, I, I, nothing against him particularly as an individual, but we were never under any illusions of being him being a good guy in any sense, right? I know oh, he's never been hostile to you or to us, really, but he's never had any reason to be directly and. We all know he's been using us, right? I mean, he he knew what was going on with Alice. He knew the AI was there. He knew we ended up with the AI. What's so, special about Alice? Isabel says. That's a good I thought, question. I thought she was deactivated. She looks at like weird. We fixed her. Well, technically, they killed her, but um... something happened. We're not seeing a lot of people that die and don't stay dead, aren't we? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With Zig, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame you or anything. I, it was you couldn't have predicted what would happen. Tried to do that mind thing that you do and well it, here's the thing right she was a machine I, I don't mean to you know you use any terminology that might be seen as a little bit uh, iffy but I uh, she was she was an AI, and then she was an AI in a suit of armor. 
intelligent, but not alive. But Zig couldn't have done what he did if she weren't alive. So, whatever she is, she's more than a machine now. And, uh, that scares me a little, because, well, why her? There are a lot of highly intelligent machines out there. How many of them come alive? So, uh... Perhaps you're looking at this the wrong way, and she kind of like looks up again at you, like she's been thinking about everything you've said, and she looks up and she's like, perhaps he was cultivating you all. You say this Emmeline had something wrong with her mind because of Edgar, and now she is within the belly of the beast of Aspis, somewhere he has been cast out of, yet exactly. some presence of him remains within. It's almost like he didn't want to lose touch. That's exactly what I was thinking, yeah. So Emmeline's purpose is clear. She is his surveillance. Possibly something much worse, in fact, with... If she has proximity to Narakis, perhaps she has a different purpose. I think I like, she nods to herself a bit and then she's like, weird here is um, a link to how all this began. And apparently helped facilitate this rebirth of android life. You just looks at you and shrugs, Michael. <laughs> Part do you play in this, Mister? I Clint? said it my I said it myself earlier. And there's there's no way you can unleash that. The, the Alibrian without without major consequences for Yox. Exactly. Your link to the Bone Sages seems to be what he was counting on so far, given where I found you. It might be more than that. And she looks at Zig. She like, and yet it is me you suspect, when clearly it was my access to the vaults that he required from me. She looks back at Lykel. Please, elaborate. Oh. <laughs> you know plenty about us. You know what my career was. She, like, smirks a little bit, realising it's a bit out of place, do you know what I mean? But, like, and it kind of disappears quickly, but, you know... That was almost the police pride, right? Hmm. In, our, in our own kind of self, being like an officer of the bank, as it were. Um, she kind of nods. And she says, I feel like this just got a whole lot bigger. Uh, well... Maybe we're just starting to catch up. But... Can st she stands up again, like, um, and like walks over to like the crate, like does that thing where she's like one hand on top of the the crate and she's like crouched down to the big open, like top of it, like on that side. And she's looking in. And obviously, there's the purring noise from behind, and a. Uh, you can see her like reach out and just like touch the egg. And she's kind of just like in kind of deep thought and she's like... We need to get this back to Greece. My body can wait. We should go as quickly as we can. Especially if Edgar's here. She like stands up and kind of like walks back to like the group for the... Or probably near the front of the shuttle, right? Um, like near the, the actual cockpit type part 
or the, the, the command piloting seat thing because there's no cockpit but like she says we should return this Edgar is on Daza or on, on Agaton in Daza if he could have taken the third egg I imagine he would have by now unless he has another plan for it we are left with several options he's impossible to find with the egg in place <laughs> we don't need to find him but herein lies the option, sadly. Do we remove the egg and take it elsewhere? Or is that what he's banking on? He knows. If he knows, and let's assume he does. If he knows... that... well, you'll be involved, he knows weird... Zig will be involved, then he knows... Grace will be the natural. I want to see recipient, but that's a very mm. weird, weird yeah. way to phrase it. Will be the um... natural next step is fine, right? Um, say far. You know what? The the he, he knows Grace will be the the first one we would think to take the egg to, right? I think shakes her head back and forth. And looks at Zig and she's like, you do have a solar monk with you. I'd say you're right on the money. And then, um, like in all good ways, cliffhanger-esque, uh, there is a loud noise that happens from behind her. And it is the discharge of a very loud, violent weapon. And <laughs> she falls forward. And uh, <laughs> CC crawls out with one of his hands rubbing his eyes and the end of his barrel of the gun smoking away um, that he's holding between two of his hands. And uh, every day it's a text message that says, what is a miss? And that's obviously where we end it. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? <laughs> what just happened? Do you want me to repeat it for you? Uh, she did she just wake up and shoot her? So CC woke up, saw somebody he didn't really like, like posing questions, and shot her in the back, and she she decked it, and he's rubbing his eyes like he's just woke up from a nap. Jesus. <laughs> and he said, and he said, what did I miss? Yep, that's what I thought. Ah, uh, that's what I thought as well. <laughs> Yep, that's what happened. So, what would you uh, like to name this session? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, Anything else? <laughs> anything else, aye. There we go. Yeah, there's, that's good there's anything else. There's What Did I Miss? I, and there's also Edgar's Gambit. Right? If you're trying to like piece everything together. So. I'll type in my suggestions. Um... There's my suggestions. In front of a gun. <laughs> right, it's just what the fuck. I mean, TF. Our wood gun. What about, uh, what, wood gun. What about just hung into the barrel? <laughs> Maybe just edit that so it doesn't have the, uh, the question. Sometimes I love the loaded gun. Uh, any other suggestions? I only see the ones I'm putting in. Uh, no, I actually forgot what I said. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eh, That's nice for anything, but whatever. Um. So, uh, there's also the um. Chess. Something about chess. I have no idea how to word that into a title beyond chess? Question mark. But yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, um. Four-dimensional chess. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? Yeah. Um, if that's the, the, the many schemes of Edgar Wesley. Yeah, right. Although that could also be a title. <laughs> Maybe not for the session, but it could be. Um, 
it's probably Dimension Hell I meant to write there. Yeah. That's fine, I'll pop that in there. Um, yeah, there was a bit of a parallel there, right, between the multifaceted yeah. uh, plans. Hence why I put in Edgar's Gambit, because let's face it, it depends on so many other things, which might not even be true, right? This is just what she's piecing together. And she did die and miss a chunk, so... Yeah. Same. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Same with Lyco, I guess. It's also the question yeah. of, like, how long between dying and getting back into... Yeah, right. ...existing... And was there? How much more importantly, who was the blonde woman seen with Edgar? Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> it was the girl in the open <laughs> transport. <laughs> I was right! <laughs> Kill them all. Um, what are we going for? Sorry, there's currently one vote. <sighs> Unless you're typing up a, another title suggestion. I like Chesseract, I'm actually not going to lie. I, I, it's terrible and I love it. <laughs> I do like it. It's good. <laughs> oh, well, rough. Anyway, oh, it's a, it's a I do like it. standoff. Um, sadly, Edgar's like name isn't four. really good for like. Like, I was trying to see if I could fit like the four-dimensional chess and an Edgar pun in there together to see if I can. Like, I can't. I four dimensional I mean, chess. I um, mean, when it comes to killing Edgar, we could have a. I've got know, one. Let's put it to Bedgar. Um, Edgar Cheslin. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> terrible, isn't it? As a great man once said, No. No. <laughs> um, currently, we've got. Uh, I love that you voted for it. Thank you. You're um, welcome. Well, four dimensional chess it is, because it's got two votes. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. <sighs> Right, a winner is me. Uh, let's talk about goals then, shall we? Go! Oh, I have no idea. Yes, so I've got anyway. no idea. So, as for the goals, uh, do you want to change any? Because I don't know if any were complete. So I feel like the Eox mission is being pushed back, which concerns me. Right. I feel like both of Akatora has. Also, yeah, who's this bitch who's just come in and, you know, just decided <laughs> to take charge and tell us what we're doing? Yeah, uh, she's dead now. That's yeah, like, CC just did... <laughs> CC disagreed with that, right? Which I feel is an important step to establishing healthy party boundaries. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's like goal uh, number two, bitch. <laughs> Oh dear. Can't wait to introduce him to the Queen. Oh. Established healthy party boundaries by, by basically telling all of our secrets <laughs> <laughs> in that one session. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be fair, a lot of dots were yeah. joined up, right? A lot of dots were joined up in that particular session. Not necessarily correctly, but not necessarily yeah. incorrectly. Just based on what Isabel can put together, right? Or what she can lie to us about. Oh yeah, right. But then you could be lying I mean, Vic's just well. shot salty because she shot him, but... <laughs> we need to get gear, so we call it, actually. We have to go to bring that up. What's that? Until CC shot her. Yeah, <laughs> uh, shot. SK. We'd actually have to get gear, Alice, if you call. Because mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. we were yeah. told the ship. ship was an orbit. Mm -hmm. Like, before you did your cutscene, like, there is that ship. Mm. Came in orbit, and I was like, Ooh. Now keep in mind, Ramasethu said your ship is in orbit, you want to be returned to it. I never specified which ship. And oh, you, you, know, you know yeah. from a cutscene that Alice and Finn are on their way to Akaton, or at least were on their way to Akaton, right? From a cutscene. And I did say that at the start of this one, a Vesk ship did enter orbit. Yeah, there's a wee tiny bit of me, I wouldn't have done that, but right, I'm not going to lie. But I mean, <laughs> it's just going to be annoying I when I start the next session when I say that. Uh, Alice's ship then jumps into orbit next, right? I mean, you did see a cruiser actually. Mm. It's like, pretty sure you should have gone boat before for the like, Who knows? Yeah, who knows, right? We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. The oh, Vesk just... take over Akaton. I mean, but I did go by the assumption before you done that because I've seen the link. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perhaps, maybe. Yeah, I, I did see a bit of 
past did seem a bit, bit fast. I don't know. I don't know, it's a, uh, you know, who knows what Alice has done to the ship. I mean, yeah, she could <laughs> leave the ship. She could be like Kit, for a reason. Mm. Oh. So, so they're all talking about uh, the Queen and the uh, CC meeting, but I can't wait to see C and Ivan meet. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> It's weird. As if, well, what? CC just shot SK at the back. Mm -hmm. That was, yeah, that was <laughs> wild. Um, he's, yeah. yeah, he's twitchy. Um, uh, yeah. There's a favour though. I'm just joking, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> the next shot is just her being kicked out of the airlock and he's flying just, away. Wee! <laughs> Let's hope she's still got another one of these flipping like extra lights. Oh, probably will. Um, I I do think that it's interesting because we've we've all it always seems to be that whenever we have like right, this is what we need to handle next. Something pushes its way forward, like skips the queue. Mm -hmm. And right now, it feels like two things, which are sort of one thing. Um, the egg. And Edgar kind of pushed themselves forward in importance. Well, he's kind of had that initially, right? Because you were on Daza, and he's were like, yeah. "Okay, cool, right? We've got the egg in the shuttle, but we've got Edgar here, and that's that's interesting. Not necessarily connected, but interesting at that point." Then you got the Ramasethu stuff and CC and all that. So CC came up, then Ramasethu came up and went, "By the way, go get the you know the knot phylactery for the knot lich." Um, so that the other space liches don't take over with the Vesk, right? And you're like, okay, cool, that sounds like a great plan, actually, because that's bad. And then you're like, right, cool. And then SK turns up and is like, cool, bang, bang, bang. You shot me down. Give me my body back. Aye. Right. And then... Then you were like, by the way, all this stuff happened as well. And she's like, oh my god, why do you have a fucking... So like, why is the solar egg here? Well, I had to save it, didn't I? <laughs> Safe. Mm. Uh, mm. I went through time to get that egg. Don't yeah. you dare try and take it away from me. Yeah. I just, I, I definitely feel like could Edgar have predicted that? Mm. I don't think any of us predicted that. So yeah, <laughs> my, my concern is that. What we've put together is more or less correct, but there's something else in the background working, other than Edgar, that yeah. we haven't quite twigged to yet. Maybe they're just really clever species, though. They're considered gods, but they weren't they actually, you know, they might have just been good tricksters, play, play, yeah. player of games, essentially. <laughs> I mean, as you know, powerful things to primitive things seem godlike, right? Mm -hmm. So, and she did just say, you know, that was dumb. You know, to the people that thought that, um, but we don't know how long ago she's talking, right? Because we know that S Kate at least goes as far back as Nyx does, and as far back as Thanida. Yeah, still don't get how that works. But... Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. One day maybe we'll figure that out. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm half convinced SK has something to do with everything as well. She, everyone's playing us. Yeah, I mean, that's, that is quite possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's cyberpunk after all. <laughs> um, sort of. Yeah, space sci-fi fantasy. Punk. And we just gave her all our information, so... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, apart from how we got the egg, so... Well, let's look at the goals based on that little chat then, because let's look at that. We've got find a suitable source of income on Akaton. And then I'm going to look at hook up with new junk rats at the same time. Mm, so those two, Akaton. those two are very Akaton based, right? Mm. What's the thoughts? Like what? Like see from a player level, right? Obviously, we'll need to resolve whatever the fuck just happened between CC and SK, right? Um, but I keep meaning to say Isabel. Anytime I say SK, I will always mean Isabel because again, SK was a title, and a. Uh, her being shot irrelevant to the side, her plan is that we'll go deliver this back to Grace, you know, being the solar egg. What is everybody's thoughts on that as players? I mean... Still not really been told why 
it's so urgent that we get this egg to grace, right? Well, I mean, the fear is they'll fall into Edgar's hands. But as we said... What does that, mean? What does that even mean? Who knows? I, I, but we know it's a bad thing to have the two eggs do their egg thing together. Or something. Yeah, um, I think initially Zig really agrees with like, the egg should be in its proper place. Mm -hmm. But the the issue is... Now, it's the obvious play. Like, it's what we would do. And if it, if Edgar is, you know, playing everyone, he would expect that. And I'm still not convinced that es um, Isabel. Uh, Isabel isn't the person Edgar was talking to. She may well be. Um, what would she, not to sidetrack, but what would she gain, or, like, would she be the one, like, is the plan, like, was she sent to get the egg from you guys then, right? Is uh, that the, is that the play? I don't know, Definitely what if she was using like us that. to bait Edgar out? Right. Like, it, it just, it, it could just be like, well, you know. So the I, thing I is, though, like, I think. played from both sides. Like, to give everybody the retroactive sense motive nonsense from the vault and stuff, it definitely seemed like she was pissed off at Himani and needed your guys' help genuinely, right? That was There was no yeah. bullshit there. She went in and she did save your lives as best she could. Yes. And true. she did die for all of you. None of that was Person. or felt yeah. bullshit. Because as you have learned, you know, she didn't need to deal with any of that shit. She didn't want to. So, at least that's that, right? And now we're here. With Isabel. And Furder. Furder. And, uh, God, I should have changed her last name when she came back. No far, far, um, more Furler. So, oh, God. <laughs> are you like, like, so what is your plan? Are you going to take the egg back to this, like, to Grace, I guess? Honestly, I don't know if we should. Right, so there's because that. Because I really do think that's what that's probably what he's counting on. But then, does he want? But then it's to... so obvious that. So let's not get into that trap. Let's not get into that Sorry. trap, right? Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> that's just that's one of those endless <laughs> loops. But it's valid to bring up. But then you've got Daza, and obviously you've not the third egg, and she obviously already knew. It was the third egg, because you've never actually shared that information. During mm -hmm. that exchange, yeah. you was both independently knew that. Um, yes. Yeah. Like, so. I mean, technically, actually, when Zig was rambling, I, he he did mention the the Daza egg. After she'd already mentioned the third egg, she had already said it. She was the first to bring it up in the conversation. Uh, yep. And, uh, I remember it the other way around, but that's fine. It, 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 it's okay, not... yeah, don't worry, we'll get an answer <laughs> at some point once we upload it yeah. and we review. Um, so... So is the plan, like, because obviously as she said as well, what's the plan with Edgar being here and the third egg? Because if he wanted it, he could have took, took it, right? Or maybe he can't take it? I need you guys to try and... Because her suggestion, as she was like, about to say would be we should get rid of the third egg so he can't get it. But then, where do you take it? Yeah. And also, well, the other thing is, as, as you pointed out, and as she pointed out, he's not taking it yet. That might mean he's not able. Yeah. Right? Which is why she like never led with we should go take the egg out. She's like, what if he can't get it and he's counting on us to remove it? I mean, mm -hmm. he, he seems to be immune to it, but that's its radiation, not direct contact. And it's also, it's also worth noting that just because he can withstand it, say he could even withstand like going up and touching the damn thing, and you know it would liquefy us, whatever. The, we don't know where it's contained or what exactly it's contained. Then we just know people draw energy from it. Mm -hmm. um, it may be that that whatever is is sort of storing it. Is, is the problem for him. It's not the egg itself. It's yep. the security. 
Yeah, or like the lead line box. It's saying he's allergic to the lead, for example. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like, oh, mm -hmm. All we know is that he hasn't got it yet, and that might be because he's biding his time, maybe because he can't, uh, mm -hmm. maybe because he just, you know, is only going to do so himself as a last resort because. I mean, he can do it, but it's costly, you know, something like that. Might be the water balloon effect as well, right? You can only like you can only hold or soak up so much, right? And then before he pops, yeah. And if the egg is a mighty source of power, like it seems to be, but then it raises the question that SK brought up as well, or again Isabel, the star stone was taken because it's like a source of power. Yeah. Hmm. So, but not yeah. taken by him. Ultimately, although yeah. well, yeah, like take, 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 it, but... taken by the Alibrian, assumedly, mm -hmm. uh, because the Alibrian, obviously, there was suspect on Edgar's like source, because I think you were like, "Cool, Edgar did that," and then it became, "Wait, Edgar said he didn't have any idea about any of that." So, does that mean that was the Alibrian that did that because of all the mind jank? Right. Um, and keep in mind as well, something that never came up in the conversation. You and Sindale took a walk through time and caused a lot of the stuff on Baskerville. Well, look. That <laughs> woke the Alibrian up. Caused. <laughs> I mean, what is causality? Right. Uh, Tell me that's. Perspective of any of, of this. <laughs> or of this game. Um, um, so there's that. So keep all that in mind. Now tell me, what goals are we doing? What are we keeping? What are we getting rid of? Because obviously all these goals are still totally valid if you ignore all the stuff Isabel seems to care about. I mean... You can't argue that she didn't raise some good points. She definitely raised some good points. Thank you. Um, I do feel... The Yorks thing it is still pressing, it is still serious, and it is I mean it's important not just from a galactic perspective, but it's important to Lyco. Mm hmm mm hmm Yeah. Um Makes sense. The whole Barai connection with uh Sindale, yeah, hundred percent. But but I do also feel that in the more immediate term I would call that the near term. I would say the most immediate thing would be determine what we're doing with this egg. Even if that just means keeping it. Like, even if we're just keeping the fucking thing, we need to know what we're doing. Well, like, I feel like that's the thing we should be able to answer now, though, right? Like, what is everybody's thoughts on that? Like, are we keeping the solar egg? Or I... trying mm. to store it somewhere else? Out of harm's way? I think we should probably hold on to it. Okay, there's there's weird's vote, Zig. I know it's a big a big thing for you. Not just because you're smaller. Um, yeah, it's huge. <laughs> um, I think Zig would like to keep a hold of it, but I feel like there might be some benefit to just like you know taking it to the solar temple and either at least. Supposedly dumping it there and seeing if what we're doing is because if we're being played and we know we're being played, there is some benefit to. Hell, you could set a trap, for example, going along with it for a small amount of time further. Okay, so you're you know? you're kind of uh, on the fence, really. It's like we could I'm on the it, fence for that we, one. We, we yeah. could use it as bait, essentially, is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. The risk, of course, is that we set up a trap we, and it doesn't work. We give up the, the we just give him it, yeah. Again. <laughs> but then, right, like, that is, again, a gambit you need to take on board because it's either can we do anything to stop him? The, like, Lalantra was able to stop him. I don't know. It's, it's, I'm getting kind of flashbacks on, like, getting onto the gunboat and, like, jumping right through a gate and getting my asses kicked. As in, like, diving mm. deep first. And it's up. Probably. Mm. <laughs> yeah, getting major flashbacks to that. <laughs> <laughs> so we even we even fucking said that during this this mm -hmm. session. 
It was or our, our, rash. Um... Or can we be seen to be taking the egg um, back and without actually taking the egg back? What's the possibilities on that front? What if it goes... In, in the end of the day, it was the same person that made... Oh, kind of rushed. Made this day that rash decision. So she's not entirely infallible. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, fair. Or what but doesn't gospel? Like, so she just got shot by a skitter man. Jeff right at the back. <laughs> exactly. Like, yes, she raised good points, but diving straight into it, like, headlong, she's obviously arrogant. She obviously thinks she can handle all Keep in but, mind when she like, boarded oh, the she's ship. Yeah. Is dying. yeah, like, like, she did board the ship fully, like, armed with arrogance, right? This was before you escaped Absalom. This was like when she raided the ship to get Zig's yeah. memories. Like, I'm not saying, like, don't take it to grace. I'm saying we just don't go, oh, we're in the shuttle now, let's just go, wee, so temp nah. Nah. Well, the thing is, though, you need to take the shuttle up to the Azure Flare and take that to the, the sun. And then we've got this yeah. for Ida to deal with after we pretty much commandeer our ship, but then she probably wakes up and we're away, because we're probably going to get stuck. Fucking wise, I've got to get back to back to the kill. Here's my question. The, um. Would the solar egg be traceable in Dazzle? I think Zig can answer that, probably. Uh, no. Well, it might be, but I, I doubt it. Based so, on the fact that if I do any sort of check for my, it's going to be. Uh, even if we left with it, the interference for anyone checking, you know, from there, observing us, might be sufficient that they wouldn't be able to tell whether or not we were leaving with it. Mm -hmm. We could, so my my thinking then is that you know it would block people reading in from outside. In out from inside or in from inside, right? So any combination where you have someone or something which is sort of scrying or being scried from Daza or what have you um, is going to be basically useless because of this massive yeah, interference. Say, think of it like an umbrella, right? Just an actual physical right. giant umbrella and you can't see through it. So everything underneath it, yeah, and everything above it. So unless... Sure. Because keep in mind, he... you can assume the only reason why Ramasethu knew you had the solar egg is because of the memories. Yeah. You So, he would have to, presumably then, and even then, right, so my, my thinking is, he would have to predict our move and get out of Daza to know if we were leaving with the egg. Assuming and still in why Daza. would he? Yeah, assuming he's still in Daza. Mm -hmm. But let's just imagine he imagine he is doing some sort of mystical surveillance to make sure that we're leaving with the egg. You know, all according to Keikaku. Um <laughs> But <laughs> right, see, he does that from outside Daza. But we leave from Daza. We're probably going to have to be quite far up, right? We by the time we get into a sort of safe distance outside of Daza's aura. It's 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 dome of radiation. So think of Where a planet, going? Colin, right? Mm -hmm. And then think of looking from the moon, for example, down to Earth, and think how detailed mm -hmm. you can see one city, and then think of the radiation bubble that doesn't melt everything on Akaton, and how it's only the people in like the mid center to the outskirts yeah. of. So it's probably not that big a shield bubble. Okay, so it's not going. But the idea of somebody in Daza trying to track you with something as powerful as the solar egg leaving, going up the way, yeah, hundred percent probably wouldn't be able to tell that at all. Yeah, but so, so what, what I'm trying to what hit, I'm trying to game out is what is the likelihood that he would be in a position where he could. I mean, you um, saw that he was staying in like what a shitty apartment cube. Yeah, I mean, I, right. I think. From what we know, and I'm just trying to think about it. Um, and you know, he gave up smoking. Angles, I think. <laughs> I think from what we know, it seems very likely, and it, it would be ideal if we could confirm he was still there. But it seems very likely that he'll still be there, whether it's to soak up power, hide, or both. 
or you know, or also, mm-hmm. and or also sees that egg, or at least be there so that he has access to it when he needs it, or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. He he presumably has a lot of reason to be there and isn't necessarily liable to be leaving. Uh, as a result, I'm inclined to think that we can probably pull this off, which is to say. It's a risky play because he'd just have to track his hiding it. But if he can't do that, he'd have no way of knowing it was there. And if he has no way of knowing and no reason to suspect, why would he ever look? Also, keep in mind that he might not even have any idea you have the Yes, egg. it's Cons- very possible. Considering technically Lelantra had it last he should know. So here's my thinking. Because he never saw you guys go back in time and steal it from the past, right? We... Still very curious to see if that means there's two eggs now, or if mm. there's... Yeah. Mm. I think Octurn's still a bit fucky though, right? So. And I, 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 I think we try and leave it there. If we confirm the fact that there was the two eggs as well, though, I, I don't think anybody could have predicted that. If you know what I mean, a pure time That's point. I don't think I don't think that Edgar or anyone would, unless they actively caused the time travel, um, could predict that. Um, that's what's we've got that essentially. Like that, we've got <laughs> yeah. the egg from from those means. Now, who could possibly have instilled time travel, Isaac? How sad did that happen again? How did we, how did that happen? How did we go back in time again? So, um, not that which one, time? <laughs> like, before that, right? So Zig, you went to the vault. Edgar was like, "Where's the big guy?" And you're like, "Oh, it's just me." And he's like, "Oh God!" And then you glowed. And then he was like, "Oh, good." And then who did you bump into? If you skip past Lalandra and her her dry guard, who did you meet? Or who did you meet, more importantly? <laughs> In the vault. <laughs> so not uh, Bob. No, it was not Bob. Who was yeah. it? It was Bob. You, Bob. I mean... <sighs> I guess maybe Edgar could be the source of time travel. It's nope. possible. Nope. Nope, you've not got it. You've obviously not. Edgar was already what? on his journey with you. Edgar, oh, right, okay. Edgar pulled you to him, he was ran forward. Somebody pushed you through time. It wasn't Edgar. Yeah, Could the Radiant Supreme anyone. pushed me through time yes. at some point, didn't he? Yes. He pushed you forward to where the party were. That's right. Okay, actually, yeah, I did forget about that. Yeah. <sighs> I knew I didn't like the Radiant Supreme. So, yeah. I don't know, um, I think, why I would think... you end up being in the vault looking for the egg and having a trippy memory and being pulled back in time? Why would that ever happen? And then whose life did you save by doing that? Right. Wh- whose life was it again, Zig? Do you remember? Sorry, I'm just changing my goal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, except I'll, I'll word that better. Um, yeah, he's a bit of a bit of a bastard. A good bastard, but a bastard. Also, you you re- you recall saving the radiant supreme's life, yeah? Yes. In the flashback, yes. so that he could. Oh, then... sorry, did I not say that I lied? No, he did not. So then, sorry. So you saving his life meant he was able to then be there in the vault to push you forward to go back to save him. Right? Yep. Team loop. You should also Team. maybe go listen to everything you said to you in that session. <laughs> yeah. I actually have it. I have it in notes somewhere, but <laughs> buried in my pile of notes. Well, here's the question. Is he her, or is he her ace in the hole? Or ally who's, who is, whose time travel shenanigans have thrown a wrench in, in, in Edgar's otherwise impeccable plan? Right. See, you see that? Or, I think he's more the, the, the macros, the black of this universe and um 
So I don't get that reference, it's... but think about who was on the ship with you guys when Edgar and Hamani were there. Mm hmm. Tick tock. That was me clicking my pen in my mouth. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Steamy. Yeah. None of you has brought up the Radiant Supreme really at all, besides uh, the fact that he was present in uh, Nix's initial meeting with Grace. I, I don't really know anything of him, and mm -hmm. he's not really shown any marvellousness like, in front of Zora. Like, so Other like, than his amazing he's just child form. Yeah. Oh wait, he showed, he showed, he did like blast, like flame blast everybody at, so that was pretty mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Like, like that was something. Hey, he's got some I bitch mean, and solar powers, right? I can, I can fucking flame blast, right? Yeah, right. So it's like, eh, right, like, like, like fucking. <laughs> he's so, totally, he was the like supreme, like <laughs> yeah, in my eyes. So was... Given that information, right? So Zig now has himself a goal, right? Um, are you gonna stick with? Something akin to confront the Radiant Supreme. It's gonna be something like that. Um, kick down the door and be like, "Here, mate." But mm. that, that's not good wording either. So. Okay. Interesting. I'm excited for that. Um, and you know what? Well, yeah, I'll leave it. I was gonna say, meet the Radiant Supreme and discuss blah blah blah. But no, that's boring. Confront it's to the point. Yeah. Um, do you want to put what you're confronting him about in the goal as well for me, so I can definitively say it is complete? Um, so yeah, that when well, you yeah. avoid that specific subject when you're in front of him, and we don't complete the goal. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, so Colin, you said about in preparing for the mission to Eox. Are you going to shelf that and put something else in, or are you happy with it for now? I feel like I'm going to shelf it, I just don't know what exactly I'm going to put in yet. That's fine, we'll leave it in for now and we'll change it when we have something, because there's no point removing it if there's nothing to put in. Unless True. some of the stuff on the side appeals more. Because we do have a side list of stuff there. Yeah, true. But I notice some of this stuff, for instance... Yeah, like some like can't be complete anymore. Some of it ties into, some of it seems to be stuff that's been pushed a little further down the line. Also, Hamani, Demogesh... The broad objective we get thing. Mm. A lot of it's probably not um, relevant anymore. Like mm. that's probably gone. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure right now what what to change it to. Although I do feel it in the short term, uh, I feel like it will need to be shelved for maybe a few sessions. It's okay. Keep in mind as well. Indy can come up with goals. It isn't just always on you because it's your color. That's fine. I um, hook up with new junk rats. Are we gonna still pursue that? Because obviously there's a big thing about are you gonna still stay on Akaton and do stuff? Because there's no harm in planning to go off to the, like the sun and then come back to Akaton beyond ditching Alice. Yeah, that is another problem. It's not just the case. Uh... Cause yeah, because you, you could put that to the side and just put because I mean what ship he's taking if you did go to the sun assuming if we're told to come here uh -huh. a bit silly if we're told to to come here and then we're just not there yeah so you could put yeah, one of the goals the as we don't get back to Akaton, like. <laughs> but then if you go with Alice are you dealing with the queen yet um right so it's kind of like go deal with queen to get Eskate's body back to try and appease her so that she doesn't immediately freak out when she recovers from whatever the fuck CC did to her. Um, so is that uh, confirmation she's not dead? I mean, she's recovered from death before, so no, it's not confirmation. Same, same um, age. We right. could do that. Because <laughs> she said she obviously was happy to put her body project on the side for now because the egg was more important to her. Which is a big I thing. I don't see why we can't do both, right? I mean, like, I mean you do have multiple screw ships. Screw SK. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Screw SK. She had the flip of the this group. She has to yeah. wait. She has to wait. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. like, that's the way I see it. Anyway. You could hook the like. You could hook Isabel and the Queen up on the Azure Flare and have them off doing their own shit. Fucking great. I actually managed to get them to numpties. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> be a horrible 
ship to the watch the episode of. Um, oh, that would be like a really, really just, okay. just be a lot of really tense stern. So, <laughs> goals, goals. Are we changing any more guys? I, mean, I do feel it means needs to change, but I have no idea what it would change there. Like, because we're obviously not going to get in. Yeah, we're at a bit of a crossroads mm. here. Okay. We're not really going to get much done in Akita, which is a bit eh. But, Only if you yeah. choose to leave. I mean, I, I still say that we go to Daza, we get the Queen, and if Alice hasn't arrived, what do they wait? Because screw as well. Um, it, is gonna, die. it is going to take a bunch of hours to get to Daza on your shuttle anyway, so yeah, like it'll probably give, if Alice was like in drift space, maybe she'll be there by the time you get to Daza, right? So, you just never know. Um, but yeah, beyond that, let's... Every day have a very good think about goals for next time, because I think you will actually need to put work in through the week to come up with goals. Mm -hmm. Right. I've got no idea what my new goal would be right now. But yeah, try and have a, an actual good think about that, because there's a lot going on, and the order of things is now super important, right? Um, and how you resolve things. We're at that point in Mass Effect 2 where you need to do everything in the perfect order. Um, <laughs> beyond that, though, let's move to the wrap-up chat, shall we? Um, I think I'm probably going to just start with uh, Zig, because Callum always complained about the wrap-up chat uh, and never getting to go first. And I wasn't like, complaining! Actually, it was the intros, but that's fine. Um, and it was the intros. Oh, Change your name right. then, bitch! No, it's um, because on Sunday there, <laughs> I hadn't changed my name to anything, so I was at the top of the list. I was like, oh wow, I'm never at the top. Um, <sighs> Calm and here. But no. Be, yes, your wrap up chat though. My wrap up chat. That was really cool. That's it. It's my wrap up chat. Wow. Um, <laughs> no, uh, I think I think it's um, it's really interesting to kind of see like to have that um, that that sort of like conversation in the cockpit or or in the little shuttle. Of where everyone's just kind of just saying everything that they know for whatever reason. Well, maybe not everything, but um, and it being a surprise to everyone was really, really, really interesting and fun. And it's like, oh well, maybe we should start mentioning mm. all these things. Um, and yeah, I'm very curious to see as to how beneficial or detrimental it is that we have just shared everything mm -hmm. with them um, with Isabel. Um, was that a really telling us anything until her putting together her joining of the dots mm -hmm. of what could be happening or not yeah I still don't know um, why she was just going and shooting up some dead folk and she did kind of answer that to Zig but Zig yeah. had to kind of think about that for a bit and never really got to an answer at any point no um, I still don't think he's come to an answer to that because mm -hmm. um, that's a, that's quite a that was quite a hefty. <laughs> and maybe she said that specifically so you would have to think about it a bit and leave her to her killing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I'm, I'm uh, yeah. It's one of those things where I feel like I uh, maybe you should press that, but then I don't think Zig would. You know, mm -hmm. um, because um, it is a it's a very complicated um sort of. Well, what what she's you know in, insinuating is very very complicated and very kind of oh, I don't know what I would do if I was in that like situation. She might even be implying she was in that situation, right? Maybe that might have been what she was implying. Um, but no, yeah, that's I was. Um, so yeah. I also like. Um, to, sorry, I need to just mention as well. I really like to see where everyone was like, yeah, of course, electrons, cephalons. We all know what those are. And then like I was like, <laughs> um, I didn't. Why does nobody tell me things? Um, <laughs> that was thoroughly enjoyable for me. Um, anything else you want to add, uh, Zig? Sorry. Conspiracy Craig is fantastic. Oh, he okay. is just, just, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Skittermander after my own heart. Four dimensional chess, man. Four dimensional chess. Four D chess. I love it. Is the future. I love also how bitter he was about it, like she cheated. 
<laughs> he's literally playing with a fucking omni psychic, right? And he's like, <laughs> she remembers every move you're gonna make, buddy. Um, um, yeah, yeah. I'm also, I'm also really. Um, I think, I think, I, 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 yeah, I'm really, really interested with the the whole. Um, where Zig stands with, you know, um, Edgar and um, Isabel. Yeah, because like for you, like Edgar is a much nicer guy than she is, right? Yeah, um, and it was it was like, um, you know, going back to when, you know, they were talking about the Edgar stuff, hmm. and as far as Zig's concerned, he's had no experience of Edgar actually having any of those kind of abilities. Yes, he's a you know radiation junkie rainbow demon. Um, <clears throat> But um, I just love that description. It's so good. But the the only, like the only person really who's ever shown signs or thinking of intrusive, um, other than Zig himself, I was gonna say, intrusive, you. Um, yeah. uh, you know, intru- intruding people's minds and stuff is Isabel, uh, and it, it it is one of those things where I think. Zig does have his sort of weird suspicions that the fact that everything that she's saying does make perfect sense and it's very like oh it's maybe the too good like, to be true right yeah um that what well, what if that's what you want us to think so that we achieve your goal and stuff um but at the same time I don't think he is disregarding the fact that or the potential fact that Edgar has been playing everyone, but I think he finds that harder than believing, I guess, maybe what he wants to believe about Escape, or former Escape, mm-hmm. Isabel. Yeah, that's good. Makes it perfect sense as well, especially from like, Zig's experiences. Um, Edgar has done nothing but help Zig, right? Yeah. Um, minus a couple of noodles here or there. Um I'm sure that was an innocent mistake, I'm sure. Yeah, that's that. Um, maybe we should just take the Daz egg. Let's just do it. Yeah, yeah just take it. <laughs> then, you'll <laughs> just have, take it. then you'll have two. We'll have two eggs, which is like Twice one as more good as than Himani, yeah. Yeah. Also, if you can trap Himani, in, if you can trap Himani to his word, right, and if the egg's part of his stuff now, you could ask for the egg as your payment. Mm. As payment, that's like actually that's not a bad shot. Then you ha- you would have three eggs. What would you do with them? I don't know, but you'd have them. Uh, Cast oh. them into the sun. <laughs> <laughs> These are too powerful to be allowed to fall into the wrong hands again. The eggs eat the sun. Yeah, that was Edgar's plan the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> no sun. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, other than that, yeah, I just, I just, I, I really liked just how, um, uh, the, just that that whole scene of everyone kind of showing up at the front of the the ship. Mm-hmm. Um, that was just really good. Yeah. I think I might have just be recounting the entire session. Yeah, the point, it's but... full session <laughs> recounted. Yeah. Uh, I really liked the bits where all the descriptions happened from Ryan. They were really good. I liked all the bits that Colin. Descri- yeah. No. Yeah. Um, well, I'm glad you're enjoying the game enough to be like happy enough to recant your favourite bit was the session. I'm glad that was... I am really <laughs> pleased by that. Um, <laughs> weird. Yes. Hello. How are you doing? I'm, I'm okay, actually, yeah. That was a, that was a heavy was session. Yeah. What, what was my favourite bit? Yeah. Uh, the bit where we played. And then oh. the bit where this was... The furthest I've ever taken any RP I've ever run. That was nice. And yeah. I think you can see why this game is still going. Because dear fucking yes. gods, the story in this game is almost trying like a skittermander trying to escape my hugs. Like, that's the story trying to get out of my grip in this game. And, it was... and I reject it. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, we should kill her. <laughs> Again. Um... But you never really did like her. Shame, shame, she's dead, he's No, I, I've gone through phases with her. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And it continues. 
Uh, you know, the, the phrase, I liked you better dead, is really apt. <laughs> it is, yeah. Uh, she was less complicated and mm. less problematic then. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, dying does seem to be what she does best. Like, mm. through all her arrogance. Yeah. Yeah, but then think about it from her point of view, right? She might actually just consider herself a bit of a failure. That's because she is. Desperately ah! trying to, like, like, redeem herself, right? Because yeah, she's doing a great job just being shot by Skitmander. Yeah, but literally isn't shot in the back by a sleeping Skitmander. It's like, yeah. wakes up, rubs its eyes, bang, who's that? Are we sure Zig was nowhere near him? <laughs> Zig secretly mind linked. <laughs> uh, that, that the happen. winner is Zig! <laughs> All glory to Zig! Uh, sorry, continue. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, she was there. Uh, things happened. Uh, enjoyed trying to update her and forgetting everything. Mm. Like everyone trying to think back, looking through our yeah, notes. Yeah, right. Everybody looking through their notes. <laughs> I don't um, have notes. There's a, a lot going on in this game currently. And a lot of it seems yes. to be pulling together now. Um, yeah. Oofed. Uh, uh, yeah, what was she there? Um, obviously enjoyed four dimensional chess mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that is uh, an experience in futility mm. so but I'm sure we can recreate it and have those games ourselves I think if you said that to CC you would have the best friend you ever wanted in CC that is my, that is my plan for the next downtime mm -hmm. we should build it ourselves just working in four and dimensions with a scatter is going to be great. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, I don't think. I just love the tone change in that scene for me. Like, I really enjoyed that presentation of you guys being like, oh god, this is going to go horribly. Like, they're killing Ramasethu's troops. Oh god, why is SK, like, escalating this? Or SK elating this? Um, wow, that's, why is that the real session title? SK elating? Um, I feel horrible to say. It is horrible. Escalate. It's easier to say their surname for me, though. SK elating. Um, but yeah. But then you just get there and it's just them playing chess together. And I love that. That was a lot of fun for me to describe. Um, what if the chess symbolism is because it's actually Conspiracy Craig has been the bad guy all along? The whole time. Yeah. I stand by that Conspiracy Craig's a good guy and we're the bad guys. Just can, I mean, like, start next session, he just shoots the rest of you and they say, right, cool, make new characters. Um, what did I miss? Yeah. <laughs> I've saved the galaxy. Yeah, right. Um, well, if Zig thinks Sasuke's evil, yeah, he did then, right? By shooting they do move in herds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else you'd like to add, Grid? Uh, no, I think that's everything. Okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Zora. Yeah. I like the just the getting on it the the fluff it mm. and what he's I also liked when uh Zig kinda just he spoke about um Octon. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah, then we're way better. Uh, yeah, but wait, you weren't in Sorry. the meeting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was exactly <laughs> what happened. I was like, well, <laughs> you don't know about that yet. I didn't tell you about that. It is you, nice that? <laughs> you basically all came to the, the table and you all put down your own individual jigsaw pieces and went, wait a minute, it's the one jigsaw. Yeah, it was good. Uh, it was pretty good. Um, the chest was ridiculous. It was funny, man. <laughs> I, I was just, I completely. Unexpected consistently, your reactions and... consistently to CC have been some of my favourites, Nico. Like, <laughs> like, if there's anything you take away from this game, it's nothing about any of the glorious RP and creation we've made. It was just you and CC's interactions. And... <laughs> uh, uh, I just wasn't expecting it, right? Because, like, start of the session, I, I kind of ran off. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. Like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I'm a bit running to like a shit. Mm -hmm. Basically, go right, guys. We leave. Bye. After like this woman's just shot the place up. Mm -hmm. But I just doesn't look good, man. No. Like I was just like, what the fuck am I doing? This way, obviously, we went to Norway. Ever that we've got to like send them a communication. Then I 
Sen nähdään. Just Robin Van. Robin. Niin. Aina nää. Yes. Uh, just the, the conversation in general in the shop and stuff. And... Uh, fuck Esky. <laughs> I guess we know we're used to end on that plan then. Um... um yeah. not, not so much fuck SK. Just... Just... Like... Yeah. Camden. Camden yeah. him. Like... She he's... does get like w- like riled up and go off <laughs> like, the sides, doesn't she? Yes, <laughs> like... <laughs> Cam, Musa, take a time, plan it out, like... But then Zig, right? Zig, if... If she is working with Edgar, maybe he's counting on her weird crusade-like nature. Well, mm. though, sure, Edgar is still a piece of shit. I'm, I'm, I'm this sure just goes it. back to that time where you flicked that like e cig off your chest, doesn't it? Nah, don't even, don't even, man. Nah, nah, he's got to be man. Like he's an arms dealer. Come on. Oh yeah, he's, he's a filthy, he's... dirty arms dealer, man. Like he's, he's an awful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, yeah, I don't think there's there was any pretense of him ever not being a bad guy. The question is <laughs> yeah. how bad. Mm-hmm. I'm still kind of almost skeptical that he's like the grand mastermind behind everything. Like, it's not like this Kate would hold a grudge against him, though, right? Not like, like you put a hit out on her or anything, right? She wouldn't have. She wouldn't be bitter about that. I mean, he's pretty crazy, right? right? He's pretty crazy, right? But like, come on, it's like, it, it is a bit bad, of wacky Urgalas. There's like even Hamani is even wackier than him. Like, in my opinion, like now that he's smiling, like God egg, <laughs> or the void egg at least, yeah. Yeah. Pseudo god egg. <laughs> Depends if you think Grace is a good person. Right. I mean, I, I don't know Grace. Mm. Not for the system. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you use a different area code in your system. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. This is burning mother. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It tastes good. Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah. Zig has actual, like, um, He's a bit envious of the egg because, you know, he calls himself the burning sun and really, if that egg turns out to be a boy, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that'll be the burning sun. Stealing uh, his title. Just usurped. right out of the lobby. Yeah, but you were going to take uh. the Radiant Supreme's title, right, when you mind link with him and kill him? Yes. Right, because <laughs> we, we, we know that's happening, so. <laughs> Once. Maybe. You have little faith. You'll have learned to control his mind link by then. Sure. So, next session. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything else there? We, uh, Zora, even. No, I'm good. It's because I was reading the I'm chat sure. and it just says weird in front of me. <laughs> um, I do know it. Lyco. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, yeah. So that was that was an unusual session. Um, it was like the conspiracy board, but in conversation form. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> oh, this chair is con- loud. And it was the conspiracy theory crafting session. Hmm. I think it's nice to sort of finally lay out some of the stuff that's been sort of. We do it a up. lot as players, but we've never done it as characters, and that was good. Yeah, and it was good for characters to learn some of this stuff and start to put it together. And whether or not, I mean, whether or not Edgar is really the big bad. He's certainly a player. Um, he's certainly someone that we need to have a look at. And I, I don't know exactly how this is going to pan out, but I suspect that whatever is role in it, it's not... I don't think it's all just Edgar. Whether or not it's... Plus, you know, he's Snyder can take him, it, so... <laughs> well, or at least his human form. Right, so yeah. Um, so yeah, it is... But again, it's not all about power levels, right? Hmm. Um, so that's uh, that's it. It's interesting, and I don't know how it'll unfold, but it was interesting. Um, I enjoyed very much uh, getting to sort of <laughs> just sort of have a bit of um, comic relief, a bit of levity, uh, doing the whole shtick about. No one tells me anything and all mm-hmm. that. That was good fun. Mm-hmm. It's good. 
it was a fun session for Lyco. It was a fun session to play Lyco. Um, I did say earlier as well. That was one of my, my favorite scenes, which was the everybody knew what an electroencephalon was, except yeah. you. And it was like, why do you all know that? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, all from really different like sources. Challenge. You learned to steal that. And... Mm-hmm. He stole the knowledge from a secret book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because the initial reaction, he was like. Oh well, my party seem to know what this is about. I won't. I won't read mm-hmm. anything. You know, I'll, I'll deal with that later. Um, and I just like that sort of sense of kind of catharsis of just vomiting forth all this information, some of which has gone unsaid um, for various reasons. Like I was like, oh, egg now. What happened with with Edgar obviously takes on maybe some increased importance, like maybe something untoward was happening. Maybe we've misinterpreted. Certainly, there's no doubt that the Queen uh, was in a compromised state than either. But we we can maybe look back and say, well, where is intention so innocent? Mm. I don't know necessarily necessarily mean if he was you know he's going to directly harm Zeg, but did he have something in mind? Did he intend to? Did he see an opportunity and think maybe I can use this or whatever? He certainly seemed surprised, but was he? Um, so yeah, there, there there are all sorts of questions that that opens up, and uh, it's going to be a bitch deciding exactly what to do from here because all these things keep mounting up and now Edgar's maybe gone from something that just oh fuck Edgar's here I haven't seen him in a while to is he actually is he the driving force behind it is is, is Edgar I just want to say this now that Edgar Wesland killed Laura Palmer um, just um, just going to put it out there is that, is that your, your working theory <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh how far are you into that? That's not, we'll, we'll talk about that. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we can talk about that later. Um, I'm actually going to be brief tonight because I am tired. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll wrap up by saying, yeah, it was it was a fun um, fun session to to play in um, for me. I uh, I did enjoy getting to hear everyone sort of like divulge a little bit they've been holding back uh, and their different ways and the different reasons. Uh, it is as always. I try. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was really terrible. Uh, it is always a joy to sort of witness the interactions, as you said, with like um, with Captain and and, uh, and, and <laughs> It's really cute. Um, Just when it grabs its little hands up at him, like yeah. one up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, I I like how they're not just they're 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 alien in this way where they have um their minds are, are really frantic and like ADHD infant ish. Um I, I, I and it's just it's, it's seeing the cute side of that as well as the frustrating side of it and as well as the potentially dangerous side of it in mm-hmm. one session. Um seeing, you know, how intelligent he is. Mm. Uh, but also, also how scattered brained, but how hyper focused they can be, and how like impulsive too. Oh, scary they can be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're, 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 they're interesting creatures, and it was cool seeing that. Um, God knows how we're going to deal with that, Mark. Hmm. Uh, I mean, um, you could also think about it from the pa- fact that scatterbrainers might instinctively think of the Vesk as caretakers now. Yeah, possibly. Right. I mean, it makes sense that he would bond with you know the one that maybe his species have a a longer familiarity with. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was interesting sort of going into the little bits that everyone had been holding back, and I think I think I look forward to because obviously we talked about all oh, you know getting everything out. We didn't get everything out. There are definitely some big things still. Um, off the top of my head, uh, Weird at least has a huge thing mm. that he's not divulged yet. Um, mm. They may or not may not, not ever divulge. Who knows? But that 
sort of stuck with me is like what the dead universe yeah 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 um and and that's like well we're, we're all sort of we're, we're not actually playing all our cards right now we're not actually putting everything out on the table um like was trying to be pretty open but um I think I said his parents were alive as part of like a little gag bit, but I can't actually remember if I did write a backstory for the parents. Yeah, so you might not necessarily have been telling her the truth, so you, you can obviously yeah, have well, a think about that and look at I'll check that. Yes. I can't remember if I did. <laughs> um, they, they sort of don't matter. He was all about getting away from that place. Um, I vaguely remember us talking about how the parents didn't matter. It wasn't going to be, uh, my parents are dead and gone. It was just a, a, they might be around, but it doesn't necessarily. That is, that's just a thing I like doing with mm -hmm. my characters. Like, I, I have come up with some characters that have, like, oh, they've got this big family backstory, but, like. Because I think Dietrich's parents, parents were still alive, alive as well. Um, uh, Dietrich couldn't remember. Yeah. Um... In, in character, Dietrich just could not fucking recall. <laughs> Anything else you want to add to the rest of the a bit of a mess. Uh, yeah, no, that was it, it, it was a, it was a bit of a wordy one again. There was definitely heavy conversation, and uh, who knows, we might we might have a little bit more action next time, <laughs> depending <laughs> on what kind of mood she's in when she gets up. Um, and that was interesting stuff. We're, we're we're definitely pushing the plot forward, but as ever, like there's always there's always these new obstacles that are, are, are even like new avenues that leap up in front of us. So I'm intrigued to see where it goes. Me too, because October's really soon. I'm like, this ain't finishing October. <laughs> how how does this finish in October? Um, and I think the answer is it doesn't. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks everybody for playing, and thank you for all of you being on the journey so far. Because, as I said, this is the longest I've ever run a game for. And yeah, it's been a good long while. <laughs> it's. Yeah. I've really, really enjoyed the journey so far, I hope. Obviously, given that you're all still here and mostly sane, like you are too, which is good. Um, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you.